Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Hopefully you guys have been having a great day. We're going to be jumping back into the Red Deer grind and, uh, well, we're going to be starting things off with a bang today. If you guys remember, a couple days ago, we ended up stacking like six diamonds at once on the map and waited till the end of the stream to kill them. Well, today, I've already got six on my map from grinding last night. We're gonna see if we can stack 10 plus today. It uh, could be pretty incredible if we can manage it. And I definitely think we can with the way they've been spawning on this grind. So yeah, this is going to be an insane day. Going to be an absolutely insane day. We're gonna do our best to try and get them stacked up as high as we can. What are you talking about, Pasa Dentist? I, I was literally doing an intro. The stream hadn't even started yet, my dude. Of course I can't reply to a comment if the stream hasn't even started. Gotta let the intro run for like two minutes. To allow everybody to get a chance to jump into the stream before we actually start. Hey Nate, hey Nash, hey Gaming Monkey, Riptide, Blitz, Duck, Xyphon, KG, um, Jacob, Bear, Jason, Ario, Easton, Jackson, A. E. how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing great. Where's that location? It's right here, Hunter 22. Right here. We uh, started having some stags go here, so I started using this in the grind as well. But yeah, as I was saying, we've got a total of six stags on the map at the moment. Or uh, six diamond stags on the map. From probably three hours of grinding last night. And we're going to try and stack them, clear up to like 10. Our herds are looking really spicy. And also, I started using some other lakes. Um, I did a bit of uh, what I would call herd manipulation last night. Essentially, what you do is you shoot some of the small stags in the herds you hunt, and then shoot some big ones from herds you don't hunt. And there's a chance that they'll uh, swap. And I got them to swap. So these two zones are loaded with giants now, like absolutely loaded. And a bunch of the uh, fours that I had have gone over to this lake. So that is super, super good for us. And it's made it so I have more large stags to shoot each run, which is good. Really nice. I've been pretty good, Duck. Been pretty good, man. It's good to see you. Hopefully you've been doing well. Nice blitz. That's awesome. Does definitely sound like you're getting there. That's a mythical. There's one of our legendaries. This is one of the legendaries we will be saving for the end of the stream. Uh, we're going to be taking out anything else, though, like that little dude. Oh, no, Tokyo. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I've been through it once. It's, uh, it's rough, but just stay hydrated. Uh, don't overwork yourself, and you should be fine. I uh, know, Girk, we have not. I've taken a break from the Black Bear grind because it's not exactly the most fun grind for me. Been having a lot more fun with Red Deer, so that's what we've been doing. Nice, Posse, that's awesome. Congrats on those diamonds. Any tips for respawns or how you get them so fast? Mine seem to take a while. Uh, they're not really super fast for me either, Riptide. A lot of times, there's a couple things that happen. One is there's a good chance that some of your stags are going to move to different lakes whenever you kill them because even though you'll see like, let's say four stags in this herd with all the hinds, I believe a regular herd can only have like two stags. And so those other two are solo stags. Therefore, if you shoot the solo stags, uh, their zone will disappear and they will create a new zone somewhere else. So you will get a lot of situations where they just completely move to different areas. And then you also get some situations where they're late to their zones. I have to do like two or three runs through all of my zones each time reset just to see them all. So it could definitely be either of those scenarios and... At the same time, maybe your map is just a little bit slower at getting them back to zones than some maps. I've seen a couple people that just unfortunately have really bad luck. Level 6 right there. Why is the game crashing so much? Not sure, Nikki. Not sure. 
Do you leave rares on the map too or just diamonds? Just diamonds for now. Uh, rares I take immediately because I don't feel like rares will have a chance at like spawning a great one any more than a normal because they aren't like anything special like a diamond when it comes to score wise. Obviously a rare is, you know, it's rare. They look amazing, but I don't think their scores in most cases would even matter when it comes to like spawning a great one. Because I feel like it's the big ones that would spawn them, right? Either that or it's just completely random. But either way, I shoot all the rares and I keep all of the diamonds on the map when I'm doing this method. We're basically just going to stack as many diamonds on the map at once and then take them all out at the same time in hopes of getting a great one. That's basically the method. And we're combining that with our herd management tactics to get them to spawn faster. Yeah, Blitz. Uh, to be honest though, I don't think that's a bug. From what I understand, it's intended for them to not always get to their zones at the same time to make it so it's a little bit less predictable. Pretty sure it's intended for them to arrive late. As a way to kind of make it so we can't necessarily get a perfect pattern down. Which is understandable, you know. You don't want it to be too easy. Would I leave or kill a super rare? If I see a super rare, we're taking it immediately. That is the one exception I'll make. If we get a diamond to spawn and it's a super rare, I'll take it immediately. I won't uh, wait till the end. What do I think the next DLC will be for Call of the Wild? I'm going to say Trophy Lodge. And the reason I think Trophy Lodge is because the last DW stream, somebody asked about a Trophy Lodge. And Jaxi, Jaxi did the whole, uh, I can neither confirm nor deny if we will be getting a Trophy Lodge anytime soon. So I got, I got a feeling, maybe, just maybe, we have a Trophy Lodge coming. It's hard to say, but... Just the way he said it really makes me think that there is a trophy lodge coming. I sure hope so, at least. Yeah, me too, G-Dog. Uh, no, Posse, we're not doing, uh... We're not doing multiplayer today. Let's see, there we go. Level 4, level 4. There should be one big male in there. Let's see. Can I can I see you, sir? Beautiful. Yeah, that's not normal to have two over there that I can shoot. That is unfortunate. Well, we'll just have to run over there and grab them. How many tents can you have per map? 16. You're allowed 16 tents per map. And then with tripods, I believe it's like 32 or something like that. So you get a lot more with the tripods, but with tents, only 16. Personally, I feel like it should be 20. I uh, definitely feel like 20 would make more sense, but you know, it is what it is. I'm okay with the 16 tent limit, but I definitely feel like uh, 20 would make more sense. What's the easiest great one to get? Uh, personally, I think the red deer is the easiest. And that's uh, primarily just because Tiawaroa is such a good grinding map. Best time to start your Red Deer run. I started around 7. Seems to be the most consistent time for me. Hey Scott, how's it going dude? You've not missed much yet. We're starting the day off with 6 diamonds on the map. We're going to try and stack up to 10. And then uh, try to take them out at the end of the stream. 
Like, there's got to be something like that that'll trigger a great one to spawn. Nice, Steelhead. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Where do I think the next map will be located? I feel like it's going to be Africa. I feel like Africa 2.0 has got to be the next map. Hey, Carson, how's it going? Dude, my day's been going great. Glad you could make it. And yeah, it's a nice profile picture, Carson. Not too bad, man. Tip's been working well. Awesome, Riptide. Awesome. Yeah, Riptide. You definitely got some more room. To add a few more of them in there. Oh, yeah, Landon. Maybe one of these days I will. Maybe one of these days. I believe it's on the Switch, if I'm not mistaken, or no. Wait, is it? I think it might be. I believe it's on the Nintendo Switch. I'm pretty sure I downloaded it. If it is on there, I might play it on there sometime. Uh, yeah, Killian, I do have a Discord. Uh, could one of the mods drop the Discord in the chat? Uh, random level four out of nowhere. I know I have not got a level eight duck yet, sadly, bro, bro. Looking for those uh, level twelve red deer at the moment. But how you doing, bro, bro? Oh, and also speaking of bro, bro, today is going to be the next installment in the first to get a diamond challenge series. So I hope you guys are ready for that. It's going to be a good one. Oh no, Marco. That's unfortunate, dude. Unfortunately, that is a bug right now. Uh, shooting goats for some reason just crashes the game. Nobody knows why. What do you think or hope the next great one will be? I hope it's going to be a black-tail deer, but... Or a uh, mule deer. But if I were to take a guess, it's probably going to be a moose. It seems like moose would be the, the next logical step since it's so highly requested in the community. Like, I understand the bear, right? It was in development way before people were requesting moose. But the next one has to be moose. I couldn't see them doing another great one and having it not be a moose. Uh, Reed, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate that. Hope your day has been going great. Got three diamond and a piebald stag yesterday. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, great one, mule. It would be amazing, bear. I know a lot of people want moose, but I definitely think a mule deer would be more impressive looking. A muley or a black tail would be... Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. Wait, I've got red deer over there again? Oh my gosh. Where did you guys come from? Oh, this completely... Oh man, this completely flips my plans upside down. So now I've got to hunt this zone too, because those are a couple good stags. Man, how am I going to move my tents around now? Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Nice, Norwegian. I'm glad that you enjoy the 60-minute uh, trophy challenges. They're quite a bit of fun. Yeah, Ario, I'm aware of that. I am aware of that. We're just talking about how it'd be nice to see a mule deer or a blacktail. Like, I'd prefer to have those over a moose, but most likely moose will be the next one. But I would be very happy if it was a, a blacktail deer. 
Honestly, they just need to release another map with Blacktail. That way we can have it as a great one. So I'm actually very curious, where did this herd even come from? Because I don't remember deleting any zones. Haven't had any crashes today, Dave. Believe it or not, I don't really get too many crashes anymore on Tiawaroa. After I grinded the map a bit, the crashes kind of subsided. They're way less than they used to be now. How many level 9s? We've got six of them on the map at the current moment. Yeah, this is a brand new zone. I haven't had a zone here since day one. So this is kind of strange that we've got another zone here. Honestly, I kind of feel like deleting it. That way, maybe this herd will go to this side. I don't know, though. At the same time, they might go somewhere I don't want them. <gasps> oh, I see which herd it is. It was this herd. I had a zone right here. So I accidentally deleted that zone. And now they're over here. If I'm being honest, this is a better spot for them now that I think of it. To be honest, I can just get rid of this tenth in. And just ignore that single zone that's there. This actually is better. There was one more seven. I don't know where he's gone off to. But anyway, let's just drop that guy. Actually, I guess he was the only seven, maybe. But yeah, this is actually better. Now that I get a look at where it came from, this is actually a better place to have a zone. Oh, that's unfortunate, Michael. I don't know what I did to get the crashing to kind of calm down, but... After I grinded my herds for a while, and the render kind of spread out more, I got less crashing. I think maybe there was just too many in a close area before. I think it's just you, Neil. I would refresh the stream. If you refresh the stream, it should uh, show up. Oh, there he is. There's that other seven. He does exist. Uh, yeah, Barley, it definitely does. It's not a recommended gun for Red Deer. Like, you're not going to get full score using a 300, but if you're grinding and you want to be fast with killing them, then it is a good option. Uh, don't shoot any diamonds with the 300, though. Because they will not score diamond if you shoot them with it. Russell, are you okay, man? You have a you have a bad day or something. What's my method? We're doing the herd management uh, technique, Nolan. We're leaving everything level four and below alive. Tropical Australian map. That could be cool. Would definitely be down for something like that. Uh, not sure, BX. I don't know why it would be. You should be able to get in there fine. How do you do it on animals that max out at 3 or 5? Hmm, let me think. 3 or 5. For animals that max out at 3, I'd say just kill the max weight estimates. So like for Whitetail, shoot all the 85 to 100s. Alright, let's go grab this 10. We need to move it. All the wild needs a tropical map so bad. Love to see Banting. Me too, man. Banting would be awesome. Been wanting them for quite a while. Nice G-Dog, that's awesome, dude. Hopefully those bears treat you well. Wait, what are you talking about, Nate? What rock? What rock are we talking about? Alright, let's go grab this, uh... 
tent down here. Honestly, I'm gonna leave that level six because if we leave it, that's close enough to a four or five. So I think we'll just leave it. Also, hmm, wait a second. That's unfortunate. I don't have enough room. Did I? Uh, of course, I was hunting on uh, Rev on Tuli last night and forgot to take the shotgun out. Yeah, for five, for level five max, it probably would be leave the twos and below. That is a good point. CJO, how's it going, dude? How you doing, man? And so let's do a couple things. Let's get the time changed. And then we will swap our loadout out a little bit. Well, let me, uh, let me do something real quick. There we go. Ah, that's right, the loadout. Forgot. It'll probably just be Mississippi without the gators. But I would love a Midwestern upland bird map with dove, pheasant, turkey, quail, deer, coyote, red fox, and maybe beaver. That'd be cool, dude. That'd be cool. Oh, and CJO, I went ahead and gave you a mod. If you, you don't have to be here all the time, obviously, like it's not, it's not something you have to prioritize because I know you mod for uh, Kill Clinton as well. But, um, anytime you're in here, I figured might as well, might as well give you mods since you seem to be pretty active. So welcome, man. Welcome. Like I said, you don't have to be here all the time. Don't worry about that. But whenever you're in here, It'd be awesome to, uh, to have you as a mod as well. Yeah, wood ducks would be amazing, pirate fan. Wood ducks are so cool. Absolutely love them. There we go. Imagine ostriches in Africa 2.0 zooming through the map there. They'd be real fun to hunt. That would be cool, dude. That would be cool Yeah, no problem CJO and like I said You don't have to you don't have to feel like you'll like you have to be here all the time, you know like, you know, whenever you can How to become a member so you should be able to become a member by clicking the blue join button next to the subscribe button and then uh, from there, it should give you all the options. If you don't see that, then I would say probably click the link that's in chat because that should take you to the join button as well. Is Call of the Wild easier on PC? I wouldn't say the game is easier, but being able to use mouse and keyboard is easier. Because uh, with mouse and keyboard, you can be a lot more precise, and there's a lot more, uh, what's the word, customizability when it comes to the sensitivities you use, uh, the mice you use, the keyboards you use, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, bro, bro, you got it. <laughs> Indeed. No, you're great, bro, bro. You're great. Don't sell yourself short. Yeah, definitely Riptide. I like keyboard and mouse much better. Alright, are you guys ready to see some of the most insane stuff ever? This location right here, our favorite double zone. After shooting some of the level 4s in here, and some of the levels 7 and 8 from this lake, I have got this part to have primarily just sevens and above. And I've managed to get a lot of the fours to move over to this lake. That's something you can do with this grind. 
as long as you don't shoot anything else during that little run, you can kind of get your deer to kind of switch zones. And that's what we've done here. I shot some of the fours here, shot some of the high level ones here, and I just did that until I got them to switch. So now we have some insane zones here. Like absolutely insane. Wait till you guys see not only how many level nines we have at this zone at the moment, but just how many red deer in general that are like level six, seven, eight, nine. It's kind of insane. We got a seven, we got a nine, we got a nine, we've got a six. Uh, a couple of them are late, it seems. But uh, as you can see, there is two level nines side by side, which is uh, pretty incredible. Oh, and also, guys, we do have a couple new emotes if you guys didn't see already. We've got the hacks emote, and then um, we've also got the floater emote. Courtesy of Archie, as, as uh, was the last one. Hey, Graham, how's it going? Hope you've been doing good. You haven't really missed too much. And we missed the next shot. Come on, buddy. Go down. There we go. Solid hit, finally. I think, at least. I think. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I think he's going down. Then we got those two giants there, and a level six. There we go. Uh, not yet, Graham. We're kind of saving all of the diamonds for the end of the stream. We're going to take them all at once at the end of the stream. Over here, we've got, uh, two more. So this is where most of my diamonds have spawned. Most of them are in these two zones, which is insane. But this is where I've been stacking a lot of them. And we're going to try and get the entire herds to become diamonds. We're going to attempt to get this entire herd to become diamonds by the end of the stream. How many nines we've got? I believe five or six of them so far. I believe six. Because we've got four here. We've got one at this zone here. And then I believe we've got one at this one right here. If I'm not mistaken. Thank you, Killian. And it's uh, it's not a matter of like being insane at the game. Like anybody can do this. All it takes is herd management. Oh, there's the other one. That's where the other one is. Yeah, so we have three at this zone right here. I had forgot where the last one was, but I guess it is right here. But yeah, we're going to attempt to get this entire group to go to diamonds. We need to kill him and him until they turn into diamonds. So we're going to attempt it. I don't know how well we'll be able to do. And also, where did these others go? Did I just not hit them well? But anyway, like I was saying, what you guys can do is uh, just shoot all of the level 5 and above. Leave anything that's level 4 and below, and eventually it'll get to the point where diamonds are spawning more often than normal. And then you can start stacking them like I am. To get these uh, six that are currently on my map, it took around three to four hours of grinding last night. Three to four hours of only shooting five and above. Redox, thank you for the 17 months, man. That's insane. 17 months. Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Thank you, Nate. I'm glad you enjoy, dude. Glad you enjoy. Runs a top secret red deer breeding facility. Probably. We breed only the uh, best stags here on Scarecrow Reserve. 
But anyway, I think it's time we take out these two right here. We need to get those big males down. What's my favorite type of great one? I like the red deer. Is that just for red deer? Uh, you can do it for other stuff, but it works very well with red deer because there's so many of them and they only have a few different locations they can be. So it works much better on a uh, map like Tiawaroa with the red deer just because of how easy it is to kind of predict where they're going to be. You can manage your herds much easier since there's less places to check on Tiawaroa red deer than there would be for like Leighton Whitetail, you know? You can still do it with them though. Like Leighton Whitetail, you could still do herd management. Uh, you just have to do a little more searching than normal since they're spread out. Just four females. Unfortunate, Hayden. Unfortunate. Goodbye, big guy. Alright, Lady Landon. No worries, dude. No worries, man. Top three favorite zones for Red Deer? Uh, well, you're looking at two of them. These two zones are incredible. And then this one right here. These are my favorite spots for Red Deer. Hey, wild game. Uh, you, well, you haven't really missed too much. We haven't got any new diamonds to spawn, uh, but I was just showing off these six diamonds that I got to spawn last night during my grinding session. Uh, we've currently got six diamonds on the map. We're attempting to get up to 10 by the end of the stream. That's the goal. If we can get to 10, we're going to take them all down and see if we can get a great one to spawn off of it. It's kind of crazy. Oh, definitely, Johnny. We need a lot more stuff to uh, buy in the game. Yeah, Ben, I already pre-ordered uh, Way of the Hunter quite a while ago, actually. I think it's been on pre-order for like two weeks now. Maybe a week and a half. Alright, we got a couple we can take down here. Oh, that's not actually the big rack, uh, Legendary Kid. There's two different variations. There's the big rack, and then there's a small rack that looks similar. Um, the small rack that looks similar has less mass on the antlers and also has a split tine down at the base. And it's got one less tine towards the top. So they actually are different racks. They look very similar though. And I've had a couple of them troll. But it's definitely not common. Definitely not common to see that one troll. Yeah, CJO, that would be amazing. Uh, yeah, Graham, it's a good map. It's great for Whitetail. Now that I think of it, I should probably finish my coffee. That might be good. Don't want it to get cold again. Mm, the getting cold has already started. Oh gosh. Why do I always do this to myself, guys? Why do I always do this to myself? Uh, it's a custom PC, AC. Uh, yeah, 530 is max for gators. Any tips? Uh, what I would recommend is only shoot level 5 and above. And try to cover all of your herds for the most part. I've started using pretty much all of my lakes and I'm just dedicating less tents to uh, each of them. The way that I started this grind though was I, I only grinded like five lakes, five or six lakes. And then as I kind of got those herds to a point that I wanted them, I started grinding some of the other areas on the map that I hadn't previously touched. I think at this point, the only lake I'm not hunting for red deer is this one. And that's just because I have got these herds to be pretty much just fours, so I don't really have a reason to go check it. Yep, we got a floater, guys. We got a floater. I'm from Oregon, Trevor. Can we get this guy to float to us, please?
Uh, Medved already got a rework, uh, Sizik. Medved got a rework with this update. All right, CGO, no worries, dude. Get that coffee. Level six down. Nice hammer, that's awesome. Uh, Jonathan, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Ducks or beavers? Ooh, definitely ducks. Definitely the ducks. Always prefer the ducks over the beavers. Nice, Blitz. But once again, thank you for the super chat, Jonathan. Really appreciate it, dude. Really appreciate it. What is my real name, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, Flinter. Uh, no, Graham. Silver Ridge Peaks was the only one that didn't get a rework. I'm hoping when they rework it, they'll make the bears a little bit easier. Ice coffee is amazing, Maverick. Not, not cold, hot coffee, though. Like, if it was originally hot coffee and then it gets cold, no, no, no. That, that's, a, that's a no. But if it's meant to be iced coffee, then, you know, I'm okay with that. All right, there's a seven there. This happens every once in a while. I'll get one of them to spawn down here instead of up where we just hunted. Which is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. I sure hope not, Johnny. But honestly, if they're in easier to hunt areas, I'll take it. Oh, it did, Riptide. <laughs> I try. Where is that? It's right here, Hunter 22. Right at this little area. Yeah, that'd be cool, Vito, but I doubt they will. They've already done the rework for Yukon, so... I don't think it'll get any more changes. Yeah, but it's the fastest way, American History Buff. And for me personally, in a grind, the only thing I, carry, the only thing I care about is the speed at which I'm able to hunt. And the 300 drops them much quicker than anything else will because it's too big. But it's the way that I'm able to kill them so quickly and grind so fast. You floater. Floaters should be banned. Alright, well, let's attempt the trick one more time. You ready for this, guys? Let's see if we can get that trick to work where... Fast traveling can make them go back to the shore. Let's see if we can get the trick to work. Um, I think we'll hunt these first though and then we'll go back there. Oh, 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 okay. You know, the only thing better than a floater is a double floater. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Until they sink like gators, oh man. Sizic Wave, thank you so much for becoming a member, dude. Enjoy the green name and chat special badge icon and all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord and YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it, dude. Hope you've been doing great. All right, since these are floating, let's go back and see if the trick worked. If it did work, then that red deer should be back on the shore. Yep, we got double floater. Uh, cause I don't want to, Tankin. The great one, Black Bear, is just not very enjoyable to hunt, in my opinion. Black Bear are so inconsistent, they don't have very high numbers on the map, they move around constantly, they arrive to their zones incredibly late, and all that just makes me not enjoy hunting them. There it is, it worked this time. You see, this is what I was attempting to show you guys last stream. If you fast travel away, 
Sometimes it'll go back to the shore that you uh, shot it on. But last time when I tried to show you guys, it despawned instead, so that was interesting. But this time it actually worked. It actually worked this time. If you fast travel away for a little bit, uh, wait a few minutes, or like a minute or so, and then come back, it should be on the shore. Hey, Myro, how's it going? Does anyone know when Shammy drink? They don't have a drink zone, uh, LMR. They just feed and rest up in the mountains. What multiplayer map should you do? I would say Rev on Tuli Graham. It's a really good map for multiplayer. Hey, Max, it's going good. The grind is going pretty great. Hey, Smash, how's it going, dude? Yeah, Bradley, at some point I'll continue the bear grind. I just needed a break from it. Because it was uh, it was getting very repetitive and tiring. But we will get back to the bear grind once we get one more Great One Red Deer. I mean, yeah, bear, but after you've killed like 2,400 of them in like two weeks and... I've seen nothing but... Bear after bear after bear for days and days and days, doing 10 hour grinding days, like, after a while of doing that, it gets kind of tiring. Hopefully we get it, Flare. Hopefully the great one will show today. Redneck Jay, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it, dude. Hope you've been having a great day. There we go. See? The trick is working now. He's back on the shore. Yeah, exactly, Bear. With as hard as I was trying to grind them previously, it just made the Bear grind not fun. And so I'm just taking it slow. Every couple days I'll go and shoot like a hundred bears. But I'm not grinding it every single day like I was. And most of the time I just grind it off camera because... I don't want to stream something that I'm not enjoying, you know? I want to I wanna stream hunts that I'm enjoying, otherwise I feel like... It's not as enjoyable to watch. Okay, I think I just discovered a problem though. This one died in the water, so I think it's, uh... I think it's gone. I think that one's gone. Because it didn't float. Well... Uh, that's a little problem. That might be a little bit of a problem there. I like it, Max. I think it's a great improvement. What time do Whitetail drink on Finland? Same as Rancho, 8.30 in the morning. There's a nice seven there. Come on. Ma'am, I need you to move out from in front of him, please. Thank you very much. Alright, I don't feel like walking over there again, so I'm not gonna shoot those. What do I play on? PC. Yes, Amy, and but for some reason that one didn't. And I think it's because it, it ran into the water and then died. Like it was uh, completely underwater when it died. So I think that might affect it. Nice Z, that's awesome. Nice, uh, Francois, that's awesome. That is super awesome. Hey, legendary kid. Let my little brother shoot a nine bear. Nice, dude. I'm sure he was happy. Oh, we forgot about that one. Uh, we should probably claim it. That might be a good thing for respawns.
Good six there. I need him to turn, but he doesn't want to. Here is this herd. We got a, a good seven in there. So we definitely need to get a tent over in this area now. Ah, of course she'd get in the way. Oh, rip. We hit him at least. <laughs> Wacky bird, thank you for the four months, man. Four months as a member. Welcome back. Nice fear. Gotta love it, dude. Gotta love finding those uh, small males on the grind. Uh, to be honest, like, getting a uh, level two is more rare than a great one. Believe it or not, I think level twos are actually more that rare than a great one. Definitely more rare than a diamond. Uh, no, Ethan, you don't have to, but it's better to do so. Because I do think they get back faster. And also, if you don't pick them up, you lose out on a lot of cash, and... Eventually, if you do that too much, you're gonna not have any money from buying all the ammo. Wapiti, thank you so much for eight months as a member. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. You have four twos? Nice, Nolan. Nice, Rob. That's awesome, dude. That is super awesome. Okay, so I'm not going to say what it is because it hasn't been in a video yet, but I did finally get my first uh, giant rare. I'm not going to say if it was a 7, an 8, or a 9, or what type of fur it was, but I finally got a giant rare. So hopefully you guys are ready for that at some point. Uh, I don't know what video it's going to be in. It'll probably be a couple days from now. But uh, we did finally get a giant. An 8 Mela, I'm calling it? Well, you guys left to see. You guys left to see what it is, because I'm not going to reveal. Yes, Johnny, you would be uh, correct. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Hillbilly Rocks, thank you so much for the super sticker, man. Much appreciated. Hope you've been doing great today. Hope everything has been going your way. Let's drop this probably like right here Also, this tree is definitely new this update. This tree was not here before Gotta love all the random like a uh, additions they made with some of these trees Gotta love it How do you see to serve vegetation you have to unlock the skill for it? There's a special skill for Disturb Vegetation. Uh, Junus K, thank you so much for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat special badge icon and all the awesome emotes. Ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Welcome, man. Welcome. Oh yeah, they did that with a lot of location smash. They added a ton of trees to certain areas. Like, uh, this shoreline up here has a ton of trees in areas that used to be open. I don't know why they chose to do that with a lot of locations, but for some reason they did. Alright, let's see if we have added to that giant cluster of diamonds. Have we managed to get another diamond to spawn here? We got our two. Oh, we did! Oh my gosh, we got another one. Haha, <laughs> let's go! I think it's another one. I guess one of the ones from this zone could have just moved, but I think we've done it. I think we just got a third one to spawn here. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah, we definitely did, because there's one less shooter. There's one less shooter. We've got a six here, but I don't see another one. So we did get another diamond to spawn in this zone with that last run. 
Oh gosh, this is gonna be insane. I cannot wait until we get this zone to be nothing but diamonds. This is crazy. For those of you that are just jumping in here, um, those two diamonds, they've been here the whole stream. We're saving them back, but we got a third one to spawn here. Herd management is uh, going crazy over the last couple days. Wapiti, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Love the recent videos and streams. Keep it up. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated. I'm glad that you've been enjoying them. Goodbye, you giant male and other giant male and other other giant male. Now for the moment of truth. Do we have a fourth one over here? One. Two. Three. Okay, so it's still just three over here for a total of six. And then we have um, two mythicals we can take down. Can we get these mythicals to turn into a legendary? If we can, this will be insane. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're dropping frames. Wait, I think it stopped. It lagged for a second, guys, but I think it's good now. We, we dropped frames for like a split second, and I think we're good now. Yeah, we should be good now, guys. We should be good. But uh, for those, if, if you guys missed it, uh, we have three more legendaries over here. And for anybody that's just joining the stream, what we've been doing is stacking them, so... I didn't get all of these to spawn on the same run. These have been here for the last couple days. And I've been stacking them up. So basically every time a 9 spawns, I leave it. I don't kill it at all. And then... Towards the end of the stream, we will shoot all of them at once. So for those that are unfamiliar with this uh, tactic, we're using the herd management technique, which is shooting only level 5 and above. And then, after a few thousand kills, you eventually get your herds to a point where you only have a few areas that you're hunting and they all have absolute giants. And now we have been saving all of our level 9s. And so far during this stream we've had one more level 9 show up. I had six of them from last night's grinding session and uh, today we've got number 7 to spawn in. Uh, Psycho Death Star, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Just want to say thank you for telling me to go for Red Deer. Great one, because I finally got in my 200th kill, so thank you. That is awesome, dude. Congratulations. Congrats on that giant. That is so awesome to hear. And thank you for the super chat, once again. As I was saying, guys, this is something you guys can do as well. It just takes a little bit of time and dedication and not giving up, really. I didn't see any results from herd management until I was like three or four hundred kills into the grind. That's when I started to notice the uh, changes. So it's definitely one of those things where if you stick with it, you'll see results. But uh, don't get discouraged if you don't see results within the first few hundred kills because it does take a little bit of time. But uh, after a while you can get your herds looking like this. And the way that I've got that zone to be so insane when it comes to giants is uh, a little bit of zone swapping. So, I killed a bunch of 4s that I had here, and then I killed a bunch of level 7s from this lake. And uh, just continued doing that until they swapped. And so now I've got all the giants here, and I moved the small ones to here. And then I just kept grinding those zones until level 9s would spawn in. And now we've got a total of 6 level 9s at that one location. Which is absurd. For a total of seven nines on the map. Uh, definitely no more nines at this lake though, which is unfortunate. I was hoping it would have one. As this is uh, one of my favorite lakes to hunt. Nice, we got him. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, Nick, you could totally do it with lions. It can, ha it can be done with any species. It's just certain species. Um, it might take longer to get them into a good state. Uh, for others, it might just 
not really be the fastest grind in the world. Like, for example, I tried it with bears and it was working, but it got to a point where I was only seeing a couple bears every run that I could shoot. So for the bears, I stopped doing it, but it does work with anything. Where's this other one? I know we shot a second. Oh, it's literally right there. Yeah, they definitely are slayed. Bears, I didn't like doing it. With the bears, I just resorted to shooting everything again. Because with the bears, I don't really care to get a bunch of diamonds. With the bears, I just want the great one. And I really don't think that this method gets you more great ones. It sure gets you a lot more diamonds, but I don't think it gets more great ones. At least, it's definitely not confirmed to have been able to get more great ones. I mean, iBuy was doing this for 6,000 kills on the Black Bear, and he was getting a diamond virtually every run. However, his great ones still took 6,000 kills to find, so I'd say it's pretty safe to say that it's not going to guaranteed increase your great one chances but it sure makes the road to that great one a lot more enjoyable with all these uh diamonds showing up but it's definitely not a method to get more great ones or rares but it works great for diamonds and since i'm primarily looking for a super rare as well as the great one this is the type of method i'm doing for the red deer because i really want to get a super rare but with black bear i just i, I don't do it at all since for the black bear, I'm just looking for the great one. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, Johnny. That's pretty crazy, to be honest. I didn't think that it would. Really big fanny dude, only guy I watch for Call of the Wild. Also, I'm on kill 547 of the Whitetail Great One grind. Nice, Ryan. That's awesome, and I'm glad you enjoy the videos, dude. Glad you enjoy the content. How many great ones do I have? Two red deer and four white tail. For a total of six. That's wild, Johnny. Honestly, I'm still so surprised. I'm still so surprised the truncated ammo can actually, like, get good penetration. It's just unfortunate it's only on class one, so it's not really useful in most cases. Thank you, Slade. I'm glad that you enjoy the uh, intros. I try to make them interesting. I know, right, Riptide? It's crazy. I hope they'll uh, fix the 300's penetration eventually. Would be nice to have it actually be able to kill something. Okay, this is new. They're typically not this close. Usually this guy will be over here, not over here. <laughs> Me too, CJO. Me too. But hey, it gets the job done, you know. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. There's a lot of things they need to change with the guns. Nice diffusion, that's awesome, man. Oh, we will at some point, uh, Scott. We will at some point. Once we get done with the stream, we will start uh, blasting all those level 9s. Or I guess not when we get done with it, but right at the end of the stream, we'll blast all the 9s. As of now, we've got a total of 7 to take down, so things are going to get pretty crazy. Uh, Matthew, thank you for the seven months, dude. Much appreciated. That's, a uh, very, very kind of you to be a member on the channel. Really appreciate it. We got a four, we got a legendary, and we got a five. Okay, so let's take down the five. Hey, buddy. 
Anybody just joining that doesn't know what we're doing is going to be so confused why I didn't shoot the nine. That's what I'm always wondering anytime I do these diamond stacking streams. I'm always thinking like, I wonder what the average viewer that hasn't been watching the channel thinks when they see me just pass up a nine like it's nothing. How many nines do I have saved right now? Currently, we've got a total of seven saved. Oh, did he float? You filthy red deer. Well, it's going to float there. We have to come back here anyway, so I guess we'll do it. Oh, did I miss something? Okay. Oh, definitely, CJ. Oh, it's the same for me. It is the same for me. My wife makes much better coffee than I can. Much, much better. A five medium is a diamond. You're right, Slade. You're right. I pretty much fear that's probably their first thought. They're like, what? What? What, what is he doing? He left a nine. It's a floater. It is. Hey, I'm glad you guys like the floater emote, by the way. I think this might be the most I've ever seen a new emote get used. I gotta say, Archie nailed it with that emote. Like, absolutely nailed it. Uh, not sure, Leslie. It could be a YouTube thing. I've had a few people say that they can't become a member because it won't, like, accept their card. I don't know. Oh, gosh, there's another. <laughs> yes. Number eight, guys. Number eight. Number eight. We got number eight, finally. Let's go, number eight. Oh, this is going to be insane. So we've got at least eight of them to take down. So we started the stream with six legendaries on our map. Uh, we've added two more in this first hour of streaming. So we're up to eight now. Yeah, this guy's a giant. This is an absolute giant right here. Probably like a 267 or a 268. Maybe a 270 if we're lucky. Uh, Jonathan, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Uh, time to work on my grind. Best wishes from Eugene. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, man. Good luck with your grind. Hopefully you find yourself some giants. Yeah, that is a big male right there, guys. That is a big male. This guy might actually be the best of them all. He might be the biggest of all the ones that we currently have on the map. There's our little level five. We will uh, take him and move along. I should probably go to the main menu. It's been a bit since we did that and there's most likely some that we forgot to claim. And if there is, then they're definitely holding up spawns. And it's also 10. Yeah, possibly Walker. He definitely could. Really, Johnny? That's crazy. That is crazy. Alright, let's get back to 7. I probably should have changed the time before going to the main menu. I'm gonna redo it so they can get to their zones. And for those curious, that's why we go to the main menu. It uh, gets the animals straight to their need zones. Or at least, like, where they're supposed to be during that time. Not all of them will be there, but it gets a lot of them to the need zones where they're supposed to be. Like, as we can see, these guys are already back. And it looks like we have our respawn as well. Oh, there's an extra one here. Wait a second, that... Where did the fourth stag come from? Okay, this guy looks pretty big as well, but uh, that's actually the small version, I think, because it's got much less mass. Let's try to get this guy, though. Nice. We actually nailed the next shot. We actually nailed it. Hey, Slashin', how's it going, dude? You made it at a very good time. 
We've currently got eight level nines on our map. We're stacking them up as much as we can. We're going to try and break ten and then shoot them all. Are any of the nines a guaranteed troll wreck? No, none of them are a guaranteed troll wreck. It's all ones that have a chance at diamond, Owen. It's pretty crazy. We're having some pretty good luck. I have had really good luck with uh, not getting trolls to spawn recently. Like, it used to be that 50% of the nines I was getting were troll wreck. Now, most of them are the guaranteed diamonds. Which is so nice to see. Oh, that's you, Revive? I didn't realize that you had uh, changed your name. Well, how's it going, man? How you doing? Goodbye, Big Mail. We will take care of you later. Nice, Leslie. That's awesome. Nice, Hunter. Nice. Uh, yeah, Bird Dog. I do think they should. I feel like it would make a lot more sense than where the 6.5 currently is. Currently, the 6.5 is in kind of a weird state where it's not super useful. Oh no, Clay Drew, that's the worst. That is the absolute worst, man. Those crashes can be rough. I have lost two trophies to a crash this update. I lost a piebald hind and also a diamond red deer. Hey, Hollow, how's it going? <laughs> Hope you've been doing good. Wait, hello there, big guy. Hollow, currently we have a total of eight level nines on our map. Eight level nines. We started the stream with six from my grinding last night, and in the first hour, we've managed to get two more. Oh, I, th I thought I fast traveled. It placed a waypoint instead. I know, Hammer. I sure hope we get one. I sure hope we do. Ah, uh, nice call the wild clips. That's awesome. Yeah, hopefully, Hollow. It'll be nice if they uh, fix the crashes soon. Somebody was telling me that there's like a hot fix coming or something. I don't know where that was posted or where it was talked about, but I had a couple people telling me that there's one coming. I don't know like if that's confirmed or not, but I've been hearing a few people say it. Uh, yeah, McCheeserton. Most likely they're in new areas. I would check different parts of your map that you haven't been hunting. Uh, like for example, I noticed that some of my red deer respawns were disappearing. So I went and checked uh, this lake right here last night and there was two full herds of red deer and a total of six stags. And most of them were like sevens and eights. So sometimes it does pay off to go places you normally don't check. Like, if I hadn't checked this, I'd be missing a bunch of red deer. Oh! Oh! <laughs> number number nine! <laughs> okay, that's our first uh, troll rack. <laughs> so we do have one troll rack on the map now. <laughs> Dude! Oh, uh, we've already spawned three legendaries in just over an hour. This is insanity. You love to see it. Sadly, first guaranteed troll rack, though. That's a little unfortunate. Son of a troll, indeed. Uh, yeah, Xerix, you could probably get it to work with Whitetail. I've done it with Whitetail in the past, and... It did produce some pretty large Whitetail. Uh, the only thing that I noticed with Whitetail is it does get difficult to find all of those uh, shootable bucks once you get farther into your grind. And that's primarily just because Whitetail are a lot more spread out than Red Deer are. You'll get a lot of situations where Whitetail are at like a very large portion of the map and it makes it so you have to move around a lot more. So that's the only thing I run into with Whitetail when trying this. 
But I got my biggest ever diamond whitetail off of herd management back in the day. But uh, it definitely isn't as easy as the red deer. Red deer are by far the easiest uh, species to use the herd management on. More specifically, Tiawaroa red deer. Whitetail, it might take a little bit longer to get them into like a prime state where they're just constantly giving you good stuff. Why am I stacking diamonds? In hopes of a great one spawning from then, Karma. We're gonna try and shoot all of them at once and see if it like triggers a great one to spawn. Nice, Davis. I'm uh, glad that the stream can keep you entertained. It really is CGO. This is crazy. It is uh, super crazy. Okay, we'll leave him. I don't feel like running over to claim him once again. So we'll leave that guy. Uh, there really is no way to become a mod, uh, Carson. I only mod people that are either my friends or uh, people that mod for other channels in the community. Because it's one of those things that I can't just give to anybody, you know? There's a lot of power that comes with being a moderator, being able to time people out and ban people, so... I only give it to very limited people. Only people that I know myself. Or ones that mod for other uh, content creators that I talk to, like Kill Clinton, Flinter. How many nines am I trying to get? We're trying to get at least 10. We're currently at nine. So if I can get at least one more, then we'll be good to go. Welcome back, straight guess. Welcome back, dude. That's a six right there. We can shoot. That's a six, two. All right, so there's two sixes to take out. Oh, nice. We got a mythical over there. Love to see it. Oh, he turned. We got him, though. We got him on that second one, thankfully. Nice, Joni. That's awesome. Congrats. Hoping he spawns at the next lake. Hopefully. Wouldn't be surprised if we get him semi soon. Dude, no. Stop floating. It's not cool. You're not cool for floating. Just because you show that you can swim doesn't mean that you're cool. He's red deer, man. Ah, uh, whenever I get the, the urge to grind them again, Trev Dog. Whenever I do content, I, I, I do stuff that I enjoy, and at the moment, I'm not enjoying Black Bear much. I try to only stream stuff that I'm actually enjoying, because uh, I don't feel like it's a good viewing experience if I'm not enjoying what I'm doing. And uh, I just don't enjoy the Black Bear grind. That's why we're streaming Red Deer instead, because I actually enjoy the Red Deer a lot. Always enjoyed the Red Deer quite a bit. <laughs> it's always the swimmers, guys. It's always the swimmers. These Red Deer jumping in the water and swimming across an entire lake like they're trying to win an Olympic medal. What was my saddest moment in The Hunter? Ooh, I gotta say, it's probably losing a melanistic red deer to wolves. Believe it or not, back when Quattro Colinas first came out, the wolves could actually kill stuff on the map. You didn't actually get to see them kill it, but they'd be chasing it, and then next time you saw that herd, there'd be like one or two missing from it. And I had that happen with a melanistic. I had a level 7 melanistic red deer on my map, 
I left it on the map overnight so that I could shoot it in the morning when I could actually do commentary over it. And the next day it was completely gone. And the previous night I had seen wolves chasing it. So, yeah. That's my saddest moment in Call of the Wild. Losing a Melanistic around the time that I first started doing YouTube. Quite sad. I'm glad that they can't just randomly kill stuff anymore. Back when the wolves and the lions and mountain lions could kill things, it was a... It was a terrible time. It was a terrible time. Do we have any new diamonds here? No, still three. Still three of them here. Yeah, they used to be able to, Aaron. Uh, they can't anymore, but they did used to be able to. It was uh, quite a unfortunate thing when it happened. There's actually three shooters here, wow. I think normally we just have two we can shoot. No, no, don't you... So many floaters, man. So many floaters. So many floaters today. Oh, I definitely will, Simon. We definitely will check everything after we shoot them all. Gosh. <laughs> it's still so insane to just see all these diamonds running away from us. <laughs> Ah, uh, you love to see it. You love to see it. Then the seven floated back. One, two, three. Okay, it's still just three. So we haven't had any new diamonds at these zones. Yeah, Flanky, we've got a floater sticker. Archie made a floater sticker and it is beautiful. You know, with the amount of times it happens to us, it's fitting that we would have a sticker for it. Uh-oh. Messed that shot up. There we go. We got him. Nice. Uh, let's back up a little bit more. There could be some others. Yeah, Grey Goose, we're stacking them. Uh, basically, what we're doing is we're leaving every single level 9 we see. And I've been doing this for like two days. And we've got nine level nines on the map now because I haven't been shooting any of them. I've been leaving them every time I find them. And we're hoping that when we shoot them all at once, we can get a great one to spawn. That's the hope, at least. As to whether or not it'll happen, hard to say. Oh, nice, Ian. Glad you like it, Flanky. Glad you like it. Ugh. Believe it or not, that floater uh, sticker was actually something that I didn't even request to get made. Archie came up with that idea and sent it to me, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Well, it's the quickest way, dog boy. The 300 is the quickest way to get them down, and when I'm grinding, speed is all that matters. What if while you are stacking, you get the great one without killing one nine? That'd be insane karma. If we managed to do that, that would be like the most insane, uh, insane little kill chain ever. Shooting like ten nines and then a great one after. That would be crazy. That would be absolutely insane. Uh, Henning, how's it going, dude? Been struggling to get a diamond red deer, but with this tactic you're using, gave me 11 diamonds and 6 rares in 2 days. That is awesome, dude. That's so awesome to hear. That is great to hear, man. Hey, Cole, how's it going, dude? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, no, Pip, it doesn't matter if you change zones. Or I'm assuming you're talking about changing maps. Yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna matter if you change maps. 
The thing about a great one is there's no there's no such thing as like progress towards a great one, right? Like great ones are random chance just like anything else. So switching your grind isn't gonna like stop a great from great one from spawning. Uh, sometimes switching gets you a great one. You never know. So I would definitely recommend switching to Tiawaroa because it, it's just a more enjoyable grind in general. Uh, no, the 300 doesn't have a way to get it for free. The 300 is 75,000. And the only way to get it is to purchase the Yukon DLC and then you can buy the 300 for 75k in the store. What does RNG mean? Uh, it's like random number generation. So take for example like... Maybe there is a like 1 in 100 chance that shooting a diamond will cause a great one to spawn. Obviously that's not the exact odds but let's say it's like a 1 in 100 chance that a great one will spawn off of a red deer. It's RNG as to like when it'll actually spawn. Like think of it as like spinning a wheel with a hundred slots and only one of them says great one. That's kind of like what RNG would be. Because it's up to chance whether or not it's going to hit that slot. The game has like a system where it'll randomly decide if that's what's going to spawn. That's kind of what RNG is. Probably not the greatest explanation but I, I think it gets the point across. Sika deer drink at 10.30 Drew. 10.30 for the Sika. Ah, the floaters, how we love them. I think we'll come get this guy after we hunt some of the other zones. I don't feel like wasting time waiting. We'll claim him the next time we go there. Uh, no deadly shots. I don't have a red deer guide yet, but I will soon. How do you get that much money? By doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Grinds like this. Because uh, whenever you do a grind like this and get your setups into a kind of a groove where you can efficiently kill tons of them quickly, I can kill roughly 50 to 60 red deer every hour. And each red deer gives around 1400 cash, so. You know, that's like 70k an hour. And I spend probably anywhere from like 6 to 10 hours playing every day for streaming and videos and just grinding off a stream as well. And so after a while it builds up pretty quickly. If you do a lot of grinds for things you will build up quite a bit of money. I think my wife is like level 30 on PC now and she's already got like over 100k cash. Because she's been grinding red deer quite a bit. And so even though she's purchasing tents and stands and ammo, uh, she's still got like 100k. All it takes is uh, getting a good setup going for whatever species you want to grind. Red deer are definitely one of the best ones for money though. Because they're just so plentiful on Tiaboroa. Yeah, exactly, CJO, exactly. Good tent placement can be a, a complete game changer. Because the faster you're able to claim things, the quicker you're able to move to the next zone and uh, continue smoking big males. How long are you going to stream today? Probably like three, maybe four hours like we did last time. All right, looks like just one of them. Oh yeah, well the 270 in general is in super strong dog boy and moose are kind of a big animal. A uh, 270 is not really recommended for moose, so that's probably why. If you're using the 270, I would really recommend 
Hunting stuff the size of like a white-tailed deer or a black-tailed deer or like a fallow deer, like that's what I would focus on with the 270. Because it's not really built to shoot stuff like moose. It, technically, you can kill moose with it, but it takes a long time. A couple tips I could give you though, man, is uh, always use polymer tip ammo. If you have access to the polymer tips, definitely do it. I mean, I don't recommend doing that anyway, dog boy. I don't recommend doing any type of glitch because there's a lot of people in the community that frown upon that type of stuff quite heavily. And doing that type of stuff does not really... It doesn't get you... It doesn't give you a good look, you know? Like, a lot of people are very against people doing that. And you don't need to do glitches to get money. I've, uh... I've earned all 11 million of my cash just from grinding animals. All it takes is learning a species. Take a few hours to search for a specific species on your map, figure out where they like to go the most commonly, hunt them during their drink times, and you'll be making money like it's nothing. Oh no, Brayden, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. Oh gosh, another... There it is. Level 9, number 10. Next to is a smaller brother. Let's go. Okay, so we can stop hunting this zone then, because we've, uh... We've maxed it out. There's no more that can spawn here. There we go. Number 10. Number 10, guys. And then I don't think anything good spawns over here. How many more am I going for? Uh, to be honest, however many we can stack while I'm streaming. I'm trying to remember how many, uh... How many level 9 black bear Ibi got up to. I think he got up to 13. I'm curious if we can pass 13 with red deer. Because red deer are a little easier than black bear. Maybe we can stack like 15 if we're lucky. I don't think we'll get to 15, but... Because eventually we're going to run out of uh, stags to shoot. But I definitely think we can get up there a little bit more. Oh, mine too, Leslie. Mine too. Oh no, Blitz. Unfortunate. I had a bad streak like that too, man. I had a streak for a while where I think like 7 of 10 that I had spawned were trolls. Alright, let's take this guy down. Beautiful. Oh, definitely, uh, Shaken Blake. You would definitely think it was hacked if you ran into a multiplayer server like this. And you know, this is what has really made me start to think that there's probably been a lot of people that have been accused of cheating that weren't actually cheating. Because before this, uh, update, I had never even thought of using uh, herd management this consistently. Like I had mentioned a couple streams ago, I've tried herd management a few times, and I didn't really stick to it long enough to see the results, so I just assumed that it didn't work. And uh, now that I've been doing it very consistently, I'm starting to understand, like, that it is possible to get your maps to just constantly produce diamonds. And I see why, like, uh, so many people always swore by this technique. Nice Vortex, that's awesome, dude. Like, I totally understand now. How people are able to get, like, tons of diamonds, and it really makes me think I've probably accused some people of cheating before that weren't actually cheating. Because I didn't know about this method, and how good it actually could be. Oh, that's a cool mythical. I like that guy. Oh, this is the rack I was talking about the other day, guys. 
This rack right here, I wish it could make diamond. It's so cool. Wait, there's three shooters here? What? That's... That's more than normal. There's a shooter there. What about over here? Yeah, we got a shooter there as well. Okay, so... Let's take that beautiful mythical down. That guy looks gorgeous. Wow, we actually got all three of them. I didn't expect to get that last one. I thought it was going to flee before we could. But yeah, that is a really cool mythical. I really wish that that one could make diamond. What is herd management? Basically only shooting level 5s and above. No matter how many level 4s you get on your map, never shoot anything 4 or below. There will definitely be times during uh, your grinds when you're doing that that you will want to shoot 4s because you'll see so many of them showing up in your herds, but no matter what happens, Resist the urge to shoot the level fours and eventually your herds will get to a point where they're spawning so many things Yeah, I know great. It's because he couldn't make diamond He doesn't have enough width to make diamond So of course I shot him with the 300 it's fastest I'll mention this again. I Shoot them with the 300 because it's faster if it's not a diamond and it's not a rare or a great one I'm not going to shoot it with the 308 because it takes too long for them to die and time is money when you're doing a grind like this. You want to be fast. You want to be as fast as you possibly can when you're doing a grind like this. See, it, it didn't make diamonds, so it's not worth using the right gun. Gotta make sure you're making the most of your time when grinding. That's a cool dude though. Very cool. Nice pirate, that's awesome, dude. That is awesome. That is a very cool uh, level 8 red deer, though. Very cool. There is the 7 we need to shoot. Finally got to an angle where I can take him. Nice, Hunter, that's awesome, man. Yeah, CGO, they're pretty cool. Also, just a heads up, guys. I am going to be eating my lunch while we do this grind, so if I stop talking for a couple minutes, I'm probably eating. Just a heads up, because I might occasionally go silent to uh, eat. Uh, no, Gavin. There's still some species I'm missing. As of now, I don't have all of them. Come on, give us a super rare. Nope. Do we still have three here? Oh, we have... Oh my gosh, we have four now. We have four now. And two of them are the 50-50 rack. Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is insane. This zone is literally just going to be diamond soon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's incredible. We got another one to spawn off that last run. Another one of these 50-50 racks. Holy dude. That is insane. We got a two sevens that we can take down as well. All right, let me take a bite of my food real quick and then we will take uh, those two sevens down. He moved.
Can I get this guy? Nope. I hit the uh, hind in front of him. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, okay, he's running back down. He'll die where we can get him easily. Ah, uh, yes, Aaron, it's very good. My wife makes some amazing food. Hey, Joshua, how's it going? You have missed some insane stuff. We have a total of 11 diamond red deer on the map, or 11 level nines. All right, so we got zero new ones for this zone. Bro, really? Chill. Chill, dude. My favorite food? Uh, probably pizza. Just because of how much you can do with it. Like, there's so many different kinds of pizza that you can have that it can be different literally every time you have it. All right, we actually have three to shoot. Nice. <laughs> okay, that that went perfect. I wasn't expecting them all to drop, but glad they did. Ah, uh, yes, I I would love to get either a Mela or Albino Diamond Red Deer. Like that is my uh, main goal out of this grind. But obviously, I'd be happy with a dot with a uh, great one as well. Nice, Joe, that's awesome. I mean, not if you think every pizza is good, Ace, which is kind of how I am. I'll eat literally any kind of pizza. If it's pizza, then it's probably a type of pizza I'll like. Ready for that Red Deer Lodge? Oh, it's looking insane, Flanky. I've got a lodge right now that's pretty much all red deer. No floaters? Yeah, no floaters this time, thankfully. Glad that there's no floaters on this one. Important question. What do you dip your pizza in? I don't dip it in anything. Been doing good, Joshua. Been doing super, super good. Just uh, enjoying the red deer grind. Stuff like that. Hopefully you've been doing well as well. Don't do it. Filthy red deer. Filthy red deer. <laughs> no, Weber, we have not. We've not shot the great one black bear. If I had shot it, you guys would definitely know by now. Yeah, I don't know. I've just never been... I've never been one to dip my... Pizza in stuff. We're not going to wait for that guy to float. We'll come back and get him later. I 
don't know. I just prefer to have pizza the way that it was made. You know people that dip pizza in honey? Oh my. Honey on pizza. I cannot picture that being good. Ooh, that sounds good, Hollow. That actually sounds pretty good. All right, Scott, let's hear it. What joke do you got? Uh, yeah, Khalil, I like it. Uh, yeah, Dabos, I remember you. How's it going, dude? Welcome back. Hope you've been doing good. If I could only have one of these forever, what would it be? Ketchup, ranch, or mustard? Ooh, that's a tough one. Honestly, for me, it would be between ranch and mustard. Although... It'd probably be mustard if I'm being honest, cause like... Actually, no. I don't know. Well, it depends. What kind of mustard is it? Regular mustard or honey mustard? Or just all mustard in general? Cause if it's all mustard in general, I'd definitely keep, uh, mustard. Cause there's so many things that I dip in honey mustard, like, uh, chicken nuggets, um... You know, fish, sticks, um... What else? Pretty much any type of, like, breaded... Like, breaded baked snacks. Like, even mozzarella sticks can be good in honey mustard. I think honey mustard can be good on pretty much everything. Um, I'd say probably, Kathy. I, I definitely recommend... If you don't have one already... I'd probably say upgrading's a good idea since some of the newer games are only gonna be on the current generation of consoles. Like, uh, Way of the Hunter is only gonna be on the current generation. Can I help you, sir? Anything shootable? It doesn't look like it. So honestly, I can probably avoid these lakes for the most part. Avoid these two. Um, avoid this one since we already have both of the shooters filled up with diamonds now. We're getting to a point where we're only grinding a few locations. Uh, no, Myra, I have not had watermelon on pizza. Didn't even know it was a thing. There's a big seven. Oh, did I forget to claim this one? I might have. I can't remember. Actually, no, we claimed it. I think we claimed it. Guys, I think this is the first time I've ever had my herds to a point where there's so many legendaries spawn from just saving them that I'm having trouble finding stuff to shoot. Like, we're really starting to have trouble finding shootable stags. Which is insane to think about. Ow. Just getting beat up by red deer today. So rude. What is the most important thing I love while doing streaming? Hmm, let me think. I mean, honestly, just interacting with you guys is huge. It's one of the reasons I like doing streaming. Like... I could totally only do videos 
and probably do fine, but I love the streaming part of it. I love streaming because it's one of those times where I can not only provide content, but also get to interact with everybody at the same time and get to talk to you guys in real time instead of through the comments. And I, I really prefer that. I prefer being able to chat with you guys live. All right, I think it is time we quickly go to the main menu. Welcome back, Killian. That's a pretty good problem. It is, Davis. It's a great problem. How many are we at now? We're currently at 11. Uh, 10, 10 of them that should be a diamond, and then one of them that's a guaranteed troll. And that guy's a mythical. Nice. What do you think about relish? I love relish, Volt. Especially on hot dogs. The best settings for the Red Raptor? Um, probably whatever settings that you like the best. There's not really a thing as the best settings on the Red Raptor. It's kind of just tweak it until it gets to a point that you like. That's what I did, at least. I've, I've changed my Red Raptor settings so many times, and I just change it to whatever I like. I would definitely recommend trying the same thing yourself. Like, go through all the settings, try a bunch of different stuff until you get a combination of settings that you enjoy using. Uh, no, Dylan, there is no, there is not better spawns on PC. We're doing a grinding method that is causing more level 9s to spawn. It's called herd management. You only kill the 5s and above and leave everything level 4 and below. No matter how tempting it gets, never shoot anything below level 5. For Red Deer, at least. And that is how we've managed to get our herds to the point where they're producing giants left and right. As we see here. So there's still four of them, uh, which means... We're going to have to continue blasting these until we get some more. Hey, Flipmaster. You have missed uh, quite a few level 9s being spawned. We started the stream with 6 level 9s. We're up to 11 now. So in like 2 hours, we've managed to get another 5 level 9s to spawn. Gosh, that is so epic. Oh my gosh, I just got all of them in one screenshot. <laughs> That's something you don't see every day. <laughs> and there's these three here. Beautiful. Uh, no new level nines, though. Are you even tempted to shoot the nines? Nah, Volts. They're always going to be here until I shoot them, so there really is no temptation to shoot them. Because I know that we're trying to, we're trying to save them all and then shoot them at once. So I'm not really tempted to shoot them. There's a six we can blast. Is that a shooter back there? That guy looks like he's probably a five. I think we can take him. Yep, he's a five. Nice. When will I shoot them? We're going to shoot them at the end of the stream. Right at the end of the stream, we will take out all of them. What's my biggest red deer? 271. Uh, yeah, Tuck. So we're only shooting the level 5s to 8s right now. Anything between 5 and 8 we're taking down. We're leaving all of the level 9s. And obviously we're still leaving 4s and below like we have been for the last week or two. Hey, Cynthia, it's been good. And then once we uh, shoot all these 9s, we're hoping that a great one will spawn. We're hoping that we will get a great one to spawn. 
We probably won't, but it's worth a shot, you know? Uh, no, Gentry, we're not gonna do bear hunting right now. Looks like only one shooter at the moment. Uh, we don't know, Nils. I'm not sure if it's a good strategy, but we're testing right now, so... Um, I guess once we see the results, we'll know. It is fun as well, though. Part of the reason I do it is because it is pretty fun to try and see how many you can get. But it's primarily just for... For science, we're attempting to see if it causes something good to spawn. Doing all these tests is so that you guys will know. Bro, we'll get a 280s rack on the great one. I hope so, Durky. Those things are rare. Would love to get a giant like that. A super rare? Yeah, we're hoping we'll get a super rare as well. Now that's another thing that I'm trying to get on this grind. I'm trying to get a super rare. Uh, no, Tux. Uh, herd management's been around for quite a while. I believe it was actually Jaxie Beard and Flinter that first thought of it. Uh, Flinter didn't really try it too much, though. He had a theory that there was some type of balancing to the herd system. But I don't think he stuck with it for very long. After a while, he just went back to shooting everything. But Jaxie Beard stuck with herd management for years. And I think he's one of the few people that has primarily done herd management for every single grind he's ever been on. And because of that, he's had tons of diamonds of everything. And then recently, there's been some other content creators, including myself, that have attempted this because of the Black Bear grind and how difficult Black Bear are to hunt. And uh, I buy premiums managed to get it to where he was getting a diamond bear every single run. I believe he broke 110 diamonds during his 6,000 kills for black bear grinding, which is pretty crazy. Nice, Connor. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. Yeah, Tuck Flinter tried it a while back, but he didn't really stick with it. Because it's just not for him. Not really the type of uh, grinding that he likes. Which is understandable because it does get... It does get a little bit slow at times. Like, there's going to be times where you're not shooting nearly as many animals as what you normally would because you're only shooting the big ones. And that's kind of my problem with the black bear grind too. Like, I get too impatient with black bear and so I just end up shooting everything. Um, technically it will delete the zone meme, but with the black bear, they move anyway, so it probably won't really hurt too much. Like, it's not going to give you any different results than just hunting normally would, since they move around a ton. Oh, it's 10. Should probably change the time. Might be helpful. Um, inevitable, please, please don't spam, man. You don't have to continue saying the same thing. And if I'm being completely honest, I didn't even know who it was until he passed, so I really don't have any opinions on him because I didn't even know who he was. So there's really nothing that I can give you. Really nothing I can say because I had no idea who it was until recently. 
How many drink zones do you have on your tay map? Uh, to be honest, I don't keep track of need zones. I just hunt specific lakes. Worst map for a great one grind? Uh, Hirschfelden. Definitely. Uh, no, bird dog. You can find the ducks in the southern parts and in the middle. Uh, you could go to pretty much any Silver Ridge Peaks video and see the guns that I've used, uh, Myro. It's the same loadout for every other map, though. Just 308, 300, 22, 243. That's pretty much my universal loadout for every map. Except for on Rev on Thule. Rev is the only map where I use a different loadout. And then when I'm grinding, I, I change it up. But that's mainly for weight purposes. Ah, uh, not really, Brody. I think most of my Red Deer grinding will always be on Tiavaroa. Uh, just because it's my favorite map. And, like, if I'm going to be spending thousands of kills hunting a species on a map, I want it to be on my favorite map. There's that legendary. Does he have a brother now? That's the question. Uh, right now we got 11 nines, Adrian. Currently 11 of them. Alright, so we're gonna check this lake. Because occasionally I'll get a few that pop up here. Nice, Carson. What map do I hate uh, more, Parquet or Hirsch? Uh, definitely Hirsch. Later, Slade. Ah, uh, probably won't do any Parquet uh, hunting, uh, Myro. Not the biggest fan of Parquet. Maybe, Johnny. Maybe at some point, but probably not today. The one just a bit more south is Great Lake for hoarding Red Deer, too. Yeah, Shaken Blake. This one right here. I've been checking it. I've uh, done a lot of uh, herd swapping with that lake. So, I killed a lot of the fours from this area. And then I killed a bunch of the big ones from this lake and got them to swap. So, that lake doesn't really have much that I can hunt anymore. Ooh, is that another diamond? Is that number 12? Oh, is that number 13? Oh, this could be two diamonds. Or, uh, two level nines. Oh, it's a mythical. It's a mythical. And a mythical. Okay, so it's two mythicals. Man, I was hoping it would be number 12 and 13, but it's both mythicals. So close to being crazy. Yeah, I haven't updated the merch in quite a while, uh, Hollow. I haven't updated it in ages, so I don't even know if it's still, like, a uh, relevant merch. Alright, well, at least we have two mythicals to wipe out, I guess. Too bad they're not nines, though. Oh. Hey! Back here! No. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> you floater. Stupid floater. <laughs> uh, there is no max score for Whitetail. I crashed. Wow. I crashed. First crash of the day, two hours in. Unfortunate. The game couldn't handle the uh, double mythical.
Well, at least we don't have to wait for the floater. I guess that's the bright side. Definitely hollow, definitely. It's a uh, doing great. Too many big males? Probably. Probably. Later, Ryan. Thanks for watching, man. I probably won't ever do a crash emote, guys, and the main reason is because eventually the game will hopefully not have crashes. I mean, ideally, we would want the game to get to a point, right, where there's no crashes or at least minimal crashes, and whenever the game does get to that point, then the uh, emote would be irrelevant. So I probably won't do a crash emote, because I'd like to think that hopefully one day there won't be crashes in this game. Yeah, hopefully, Necro. Hopefully. We can hope that we don't uh, crash whenever we shoot the nines. Okay, these ones did not come back here. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, where could we even go now? You know, I guess we should do one check around this lake just to make sure there's not any uh, legendaries or fableds. Uh, like I've said before, uh, Andres, you'll have to do the grind quite a bit. It's not a matter of, like, you do it and then you immediately get results. It's something you have to do for a while. You gotta cultivate your herds to get to a point where they're producing lots of nines. If you're having uh, trouble getting legendaries after 300 kills, I would say you probably just need to get more level 4s and below on the map, so just keep shooting them. Eventually, you'll end up finding... Um, you'll end up finding more of the large stuff eventually. It took me like three or four hundred kills to get the herds to actually start producing them quite often. No, Gray, I don't use anything. Even something like that is cheating, and I wouldn't do that. I mean, you guys should know by now that I'm extremely against that type of stuff. I'm extremely against anybody using any kind of cheat or really anything to get an advantage. I don't like people that use exploits in the game, like exploiting the, the Mr. Black mission. I don't condone that stuff at all. I think it's uh, unfair gameplay. And I am all for fair gameplay. All the cheating does is make yourself look bad and make everybody else in the community look bad as well. And honestly, when you can cultivate your herds to be like this, what would you even need to cheat for? Like, why, what reason would you need to cheat when you can just take the time to manage your herds? And see basically the same results you would if you were cheating. I just don't get it. Don't get the point. Cause I don't know about you, but any time that I hear that somebody has used something like a population scanner, my first thought is, oh, I wonder what else they're doing to cheat. That just strikes me as somebody who can't be trusted if they're using anything that isn't intended. It's not a good look. It's not a good look to do any type of exploiting or cheating. Because it completely discredits anything you do in the future. Hey, Milo, how's it going, dude? I don't like it, Junus. I don't like it. It wasn't an intended thing, and so I don't like the fact that people abuse it. It is what it is. I mean, there's nothing I can do to stop it, but... It's just unfortunate.
All right, Dill Pickle, no worries, dude. Oh my gosh, Davis, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm assuming it double sent. That looked like a double send. I'm assuming that wasn't an intentional uh, spam there. I'm assuming that it double sent. Because uh, I know sometimes when you're on mobile, it can do that. Nice, Mr. Goat. How does herd management work? So we're only shooting fives and above. It's honestly a pretty simple method to use and it's very effective. Just shoot the fives and above. Ow. Rude. Gonna run me over like that. Ah, uh, yes, Trev Dog, I will. We will be doing another run after we shoot all the nines. Hmm, we got a six there now. I want to take them out, but I don't want to have to walk all the way over there. We'll just leave them. Um, I still don't like it, Garrett, but that's a little bit better, I guess, because you did work for one still. It's just, I don't feel like people should be going for something that's not intended. Like, as a content creator that plays completely by the rules and works for everything that I've got in the game, it's uh, just whenever there's something like that, like an exploit in the game that makes it easier to do something that I've put tons of hard work into, it just... It almost makes it feel like, what am I grinding for, right? Like, what is the point of grinding if everybody else is going to get a freebie? It, it kind of gives off that type of a, a feeling. And that's kind of how it was making myself and a few other content creators feel whenever that bug started showing up. It's like, well, what are we grinding for the Great One Black Bear for? Everybody else is just going to get a freebie one and then ours aren't going to be seen as anything special. So what's the point? Like, I wish that it had never happened because I think then the Great One Black Bear would be more special than it is. I don't know. It's just unfortunate. Because it uh, it makes the people that have worked hard, like, grinding on Silver Ridge Peaks or any of the maps in general, if you've actually been grinding for Great One Black Bear, it's not as special feeling when you see that so many people have just, like, done a bug to get theirs. Wait, we had 58k? Oh my gosh, we did! Thank you guys for 58,000 subscribers. 58,006 to be exact. Thank you guys so much, that's incredible. That is absolutely insane, guys. 58,000 subscribers. Never in a million years would I have ever thought the channel would be at this point. Sadly, Graham. Sadly. Oh, uh, we're not going to talk about it here, Pedro. We're not going to talk about how it's done or what it is because I don't want to I don't want to make it so other people do it last two nines were trolls the one couldn't even make diamond that is unfortunate dude that is so unfortunate Eno Dylan thank you for the super chat dude really appreciate it man just wanted to say thank you for showing us the herd management strategy. I've got over 20 diamonds in my first super rare from it so far. Nice, Dylan. That's awesome, man. It's always nice to hear that uh, it's working for you guys as well. That is awesome. 
Thank you for the super chat too, dude. Really appreciate the support. There is one seven to blast. That's it. We're getting to a point where there's not really too much to shoot. Thank you, Scrub J. I, I really appreciate that, dude. Also, welcome back. It's good to see you in chat again. Great to see you back. Do we have anything else? Uh, no new diamonds, it looks like. Yeah, it's a seven again. I think we're getting to a point where we've got so many nines on our map that we're just having trouble spawning anymore. Because we've been repeatedly shooting these uh, sixes, sevens, and eights, and no more of them are spawning as nines. Wait, oh, oh, we do have another. <laughs> Number 12, let's go! He just wasn't rendered in. We got number 12. Finally! Number 12, guys! Number 12 for the win. The 12th level 9 of the day. So we had 6 from last night's grinding session before I started the stream. And during this stream, we've spawned 6 more. Why aren't you killing them? We're leaving all the level 9s till the end of the stream, Turtle Man. We're going to attempt to kill all of them at once and see if it spawns a great one. So we're leaving all of our level 9s. They will get shot at the end of the stream, though, so don't worry. We will shoot them. We're just waiting. Kane, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Just got my first Leucistic Pronghorn mail. That's awesome, dude. They look really nice. Leucistic Pronghorn are probably one of my favorite rares off Silver Ridge. That's unfortunate. We messed that up. Come on. Okay, good. We don't have to chase him now. I was really worried we'd have to run quite a ways. Uh, probably, Scrub G, probably. I normally would be shooting the nines as well, but we're attempting a strategy of leaving all of them and then shooting them all back to back and seeing if we can get a diamond to spawn. Or not a diamond, uh, see if we can get a great one to spawn. I'm hoping it'll work. It's, uh, so hard to say, though. We tried this once, but I only did it with six of them. So we're gonna try doing as many as we can, and we're currently at 12. Yep, exactly, Hollow. Exactly. Which is another good reason to not do it. Alright, two shooters here. 12 level 9's gotta give you a great one, right? Right? I sure hope so. Last time, shooting six of them back to back didn't do anything. Didn't even get a level 9 respawn out of it, so... I I don't think this will do anything, but I, I'm trying to test as many different things as I can. Like... What is going to give us a great one? I'd love to know, like, if there's any uh, technique that I can use to just... Speed up the process of finding a great one. Like, maybe killing six of them just wasn't enough. Maybe 12 will be the number we need to get it to work. If not, maybe we'll try something else, like... Maybe we'll try only shooting the fives and sixes for a little bit. Maybe we'll try only shooting mythical and above. Like, there's a lot of things we could try. I just don't know what would work better. Where's that place? I'll show you real quickly. It's, uh, right here. This zone has been loaded for me. It's been my best, uh, spot to hunt for quite a while now. Been pretty insane.
You need 69 level 9s to insta spawn a great one. Okay. Sounds about right. <laughs> That seems, uh, seems like the proper number for getting a great one. Oh, how did that miss neck? There we go. Mmm, gotcha, Hollow. Okay, so all I gotta do is an impossible number and then we'll get a uh, new species to spawn. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited for the angler. I think it'll be great. Uh, Floppers, thank you so much for the super chat. Does YouTube not allow you to gift memberships? You should be able to. If you are already a member on the channel, then you can gift them. They have it set up to where only members can gift memberships. Uh, that was not a cat, uh, Grey Goose. That was my daughter. She's getting a diaper change, so she's a little bit mad. Should stack great ones as well? That could be interesting. Gosh, that would be... That'd be scary, though. Keeping a great one on your map long enough to get another great one to spawn? I'd be afraid that, like, something would happen while I was waiting. Uh, yeah, Kinko, I am a dad. My daughter is, like, 14 months old now. Where did this one get off to? Come on, Hunter. Show me. Ow. Ow. Gosh, these red deer are so rude today. I've been hit by them so much. You can, Davis. Um, LC has managed to spawn two Great One Red Deer side by side. I imagine you could get more. I mean, they are random chance just like anything else. So, I mean, you could probably get three or more on the map at once. But the amount of time you'd have to put into that would be pretty crazy. Do we have any new nines here? Oh, one of these turned into a four. Okay, so one of those sixes turned to a four. Unfortunate. Let's see if we can get this other herd to render in. It might be quicker just to run this way. Because they're usually like right along here. Not seeing anything new yet. There's that guy. Okay, nothing new at this location. Uh, even though I don't think there's gonna be anything new up here, we'll still check it. Just in case. Oh, we're always back to the puns, Dill. We're always back to the puns. You guys should know by now, when you come to a Scarecrow stream, you get lots of dad jokes and puns. It's part of the experience. Bad dad jokes and lots of red deer dying. Imagine we just got a uh, great one red deer just chilling in one of these zones we haven't been checking. And once again, I got ran over. Amazing. We're doing good today. <laughs> Yeah, Eli. We've currently got 12 level 9s on the map, dude. We're trying to get as many as we can, and then we're going to shoot them all at once. Uh, no Riptide. Believe it or not, way before then. Uh, 
Uh, if you're doing herd management on Whitetail, I would recommend shooting only 85 to 100 bucks. That's what I did when I tried it uh, a few years ago. It worked pretty good. Uh, my total harvests are a little bit below 60,000, I believe. Forty-six thousand, actually. Uh, I don't add anybody on Steam, uh, Justin. I keep my Steam friends list to just uh, people that I've been friends with for years. All right, nothing there. Yeah, we're starting to get to a point where there's not a lot of places to hunt. Uh, pretty much, Gray. Pretty much. These red deer will not exist once we're done with them. They will be a non-existent species when we're done. All right, nothing at those herds. And I think that's the only one in there. Yeah, that was from a bug a while back, Daniel. Anybody that played during the first update that they fixed the Great One Whitetail has a bugged codex. Uh, the codex has been inaccurate for quite a long time. There was a time period where any gold was counting as a diamond in the codex. Any diamond was counting as a Great One. Uh, silvers were counting as golds, etc. Uh, same thing happened to Flinter. It happened to literally anybody that played during the first update that fixed the Great One Whitetail, uh, spawning as a bugged level three. Long time bug from back in the day. Yeah, it's unfortunate, uh, Traveling Texas Kid. I can't even, like, uh, know exactly how many diamonds I have because of that bug. I think it shows like 210 too many on my diamond count because that was the amount of golds that I shot during that period. It's unfortunate. Which is why myself and Flinter can never really give like an accurate count when people ask how many diamonds we have. It's just an approximation since there's no way to accurately know. I believe for a while there was quite a few people that stopped playing during that update because they didn't want their codex to get ruined. Okay, we have two we can shoot. Uh, yes, Nash, that would be why it says you have four great ones instead of one. That would be why. Uh, no, Flanky, um, there used to be a bug with great ones where instead of showing up as a great one, it would show up as a level three diamond that was above max weight. I actually got one of these. Only for me, it was a bugged level five. It showed up as a level five white tail that weighed like 107 kgs. So yeah, it was an unfortunate time. There used to be a lot of bugs with the great one. It used to be quite a, a difficult thing to find even because it was so buggy. There was a while where Great Ones only showed up like once every month. And it was because they were so buggy that if you didn't kill it the second it spawned, if you closed your game, it would come back as a level 3 or a level 4 or a level 5 and be overweight and just have a diamond rack. It was a very unfortunate time.
There's a six we can shoot. Yeah, puzzle. Unfortunately, it's from that bug. Call of the Wild has had its fair share of uh, weird bugs that have ruined the codex. Which is why I really don't uh, follow the codex when it comes to getting accurate counts of things. This is why I try to just keep track of the things I actually care about when it comes to like the counts of them. Because there really is no way to know what is accurate in the codex. Oh, at some point, Trev Dog, once she's old enough to actually play. Yeah, it sucks, Puzzle. But it is what it is. I mean, in the end, I don't really care about, like, a codex. Like, I'm not too worried about what my stats are in a hunting game. For me, the actual hunt is the enjoyable part. It's cool to look at the stats and see what you've accomplished, but to me, it's not the end of the world if I don't have that. I'm not sure, Jacquees. I'm thinking probably another hour from now. Normally, I would try to end the stream before my video goes live, but I think today we'll keep streaming. We're saving them, Columbia. We're shooting all of the nines at the end of the stream in hopes of all of those being shot back to back, triggering a great one spawn. That's the goal. We're attempting to get a great one to spawn. Nice, Flanky. That's awesome, man. It's the same for Total Harvest. I'm missing like 800 kills. Really, Johnny? Wow. Oh, that's right, because on Xbox, can't you see all of your kill count, like, uh, in the stats of the game itself and not through the codex? If I'm not mistaken, isn't there, like, an actual, like, counter that's uh, external to the game on Xbox, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, yeah, Mr. Goat, I did know that. I haven't seen them in ages, though. Yeah, that is super nice, Johnny. But it also just shows you, like, uh... It, I guess that can really show you what stuff is inaccurate. I wish PC had something like that. Because I'd love to know, like, what is actually accurate in my codex. That'd be such a nice thing to have for PC. I mean, I don't really compare myself to other creators, Grey Goose. I feel like pretty much everybody in the community has their own place and is better at one thing or another. I try not to compare myself to other people. I just do what I do and if you guys enjoy it, then you enjoy it. Nice, Goat. That's awesome, man. Always cool to find something new. Uh, believe it or not, the Dollar Tree actually used to sell 3 liter sodas. Back like 10 years ago, you could get a 3 liter soda from the dollar store. Not anymore, but you know, back then you could. Oh, it was just because he, ta he started talking crap about me on his stream, uh, BX. I've put that behind me, though, but it was because he started saying stuff on his stream. Yeah, true. On Xbox and uh, PS4, you don't have to purchase the tents. They come with Call of the Wild. Here on PC, you have to purchase the tent DLC separately. The same with the ATV DLC. We have to buy it separately on PC. Favorite map for grinding Whitetail? Uh, personally, Rancho, but I've heard Rev on Tuli is very good as well. Gosh, what are we even gonna hunt now? Oh yeah, we were gonna check this lake, see if anything's moved there. Oh, really, Mango? 
Well, hopefully my uh, stream isn't keeping you up too late. Yeah, no problem, Jason. That's awesome to hear, dude. I'm glad that the streams can help. You know, that's one of the reasons why I love, uh, love doing the streams as well. Like, I was talking about it earlier. I really enjoy the interaction of live streams where I can chat with you guys and, um, get to see what's going on in your guys' lives as well and bounce ideas off of you guys and just chat about random stuff. But it's also awesome to hear that the streams help you guys. It's always nice to hear when the streams are able to pull somebody out of a bad place. It really makes me happy knowing that I'm doing something positive for you guys. <laughs> yeah, JN. <laughs> also, how's the uh, herd management going, JN? I know you were starting to see results from it the other day. Hopefully it's uh, working well for you. Nice, Robin. Happy early birthday, dude. How many nines are on my map? Currently 12, Jeremy. We've got 12 of them as of now, which is insane. Nice, Adenda. That's awesome. Okay, let's see. Do we got anything new spawned here? I think... I think we've got this, like, to a point where it's really not getting anything new. Oh, that's new. Okay, there's definitely some new ones here. There might be a couple we'll need to take. Hmm. Though I don't want to throw things off. But I definitely feel like we should shoot a few of these sevens. Um... Yeah, let's shoot a couple of the sevens. And attempt to get them to swap to another zone. Uh, first we need to go to the main menu. I don't want to kind of mix the spawns up with some of the good ones that we just shot. Because since we had just shot a few good ones, I don't want to... Uh, these small ones to get mixed up, or these big ones to get mixed up with them. I want to try and swap some of the big ones for small ones. Is there a place that we could shoot a bunch of small stags and maybe get them to switch? Maybe here? There was a couple fours there, I think. Hey, Kyla, how's it going? How you been? Dying from the hike? Oh, no. Is it, like, super hot there right now, or just a long hike? Yeah, Volt, I guess we'll see. I've had a few people tell me that that's how they got there, so... That's kind of what sparked the idea of doing this. And also hearing that, uh, Ibai was trying it and got up to, like, 13 diamonds made me want to attempt it as well. Oh, another one! Yes! Number 13! Number 13! Let's go! 13th level 9. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. This is nuts, guys. This is nuts. <laughs> Number 13. For a second, we had the lucky 12, but now we got 13. Unlucky number 13. All right, let's shoot these small ones and then try to swap them with two of the others from the other lake. Let's attempt to swap the three and four with some of those sevens. Um, is there anything else we can shoot that's small? I think there might have been one over here. Uh, no guys, if you're if you're just joining, we're not shooting the nines yet. We're trying a new method where we leave every single level nine, and then we're gonna shoot them all at once. We're going to attempt to get a great one to spawn off of shooting like 13 level nines. Guys, that's crazy to think that this stream we have spawned seven level nines. Literally seven level nines, just this stream. Alright, so... We're going to claim these, um, very shortly. But I want to get them all killed first, and then we will run up and claim them. In fact, actually, we should probably do it now, because it's going to take a while to run there. Alright, so let's go claim them. 
We want to do this quickly. Oh, definitely not H2O. Rares are still rare. I've only killed three rares in 1,850 kills. Need to go for 10 diamonds in one stream. Ooh, if we could, that would be a total of 16 level nines on the map. I mean, it'll be difficult, but I think we could do it. Lying on the basement floor, oh gosh. I mean, whatever works, right? If that's the coolest place, then might as well. Also, Kyle, have you seen us uh, doing much of this grind? We've had some absurd results. Like, absolutely absurd results. Oh, I will, Dip Pickle. I will do one more run after we kill all the nines and hope that we can find a great one. All right, let's quickly go and claim these now. Uh, not this one in particular, Bryce. Maybe the actual, like, uh, the killing of the 13 nines. We might do that in a video. But, uh, I already posted a video where we shot the six diamonds at once. Or six nines at once. Yeah, great. We got that old music bumping in now. Now we gotta quickly go down here and kill a few sevens. Definitely, Kyle, it's so worth it. Like, it is so worth the time to get it to where it's producing nines like this. 100% worth it. It took me a few hundred kills to see results, though. So that's one thing to remember when you do it. It takes a while to get everything the way it needs to be. Got a Leucistic and Diamond Eurasian Widgeon. Wasn't as pretty as the teal, though. Nice floppers. That's awesome. Heard that if someone kills a diamond in your map via multiplayer, it has a higher chance of spawning as a great one. That is definitely not true, uh, Priorities. That's definitely not true. Being in multiplayer doesn't have any effect on, like, the odds. We're just not doing it at the moment, Darren, because the grind was getting, uh... To be honest, it was becoming more of a hassle than it was enjoyable. So I've just put the bear grind on pause. We'll get back to the bear grind eventually, but... Like, I, I want to take a break from it so I can actually get back to enjoying it. No, it's 10-10. We gotta kill this thing. We gotta kill some of these quickly. Uh, no, Connor, we haven't shot them yet. We're gonna shoot them soon. Black bear equals not fun. Yeah, pretty much, Johnny. They're, uh, quite tough to hunt. Uh-oh. Honestly, that worked out pretty good. All right, two should be enough, I think. I think two should be enough. We're just trying to get a couple of these to swap with those fours we killed. Yeah, Kyle, I could definitely see that happening. Flinter's luck's been pretty rough on great ones recently. Mine's been pretty rough for the Black Bear as well, though. I'm at like 24 or 2500 on Black Bear with nothing. Approaching those numbers for my second Red Deer grind now as well. Or third Red Deer grind, technically, because we had the pre-update great one as well. What's my most rare trophy? I'd say Max Weight Diamond Leucistic Mallard, probably. Some people might disagree because it's a duck, but I don't know. Getting a max weight rare diamond duck is pretty uncommon. So I think that's probably my rarest.
Uh, what do you mean, Eno? Are you talking about, um, like, if your game crashes while you're going up to claim something and then you use a backup to get it back? I don't necessarily see that the same as, like, uh, as using an exploit. Because at that point, like, the game crashing is what caused you to lose something. So I'm, I'm not super against that. I mean, if somebody wants to, they can do that. I feel like that's a little bit different than... Like using an exploit or an external cheat. Alright, let's see. Can we get those to swap, maybe? Oh gosh, Kyla, sounds like Shadow's crazy. Sounds like she's a handful. Lost uh, three diamond ducks due to duck aim. Oof, that's unfortunate. I lost a uh, diamond goose in multiplayer a little while ago. Sadly couldn't get it. I think that was actually in a video too. Let's see. Let's go to the main menu once more since we just reset the time. How many nines on the map? 13 at the moment, Gavin. 11 of them should be diamonds as well. Floppers, thank you for the super chat once again, dude. Thank you so much. When retrievers or labs come to the game, I'll be happy. Yes, that'd be awesome, man. That'd be so cool. Would love to see Retrievers and Labs. How many do we have here still? Okay, so once again we got a 7 to spawn here. So we don't have a 5th 9 in that zone yet. <laughs> this is still just so insane to look at. Just seeing all these nines every time we visit this zone is incredible. Gosh, it's insane to look at. Love it. Oh no, Jackson, that's unfortunate. Now, those crashes can be so rough. Oh yeah, it was the double Mela Moose vid. That's right. I couldn't remember which one it was in. There's those two. There should be, what, two more in that zone? There's one. Where's the other one? There he is. Hayden, have you even been watching the stream, my dude? We've literally spawned half of these on stream. Herd management is a wonderful thing. You should try it sometime. Where's that small one? We need to shoot the small guys. Alright, there we go. What exactly is herd management? You leave everything level 4 and below. Leaving the level 4s and below for some reason causes the rest of them to spawn huge. How did you get me so nines into two zones right next to each other? Uh, this is the zone that I have been farming the heaviest. This area in general has had lots of stags for me. And so what I did was... I had quite a few level 4s at these two zones, right? So I shot some of the 4s, went over to this lake, shot a bunch of 7s and 8s, and then got them to switch locations. So basically the respawns from this lake over here respawned over here. And so I got it to a point where it was a bunch of level 7s and 8s in this zone, and then I just shot those 7s and 8s until they came back as 9s. 
over the course of this stream and also last night when I was grinding as well. Just doing that, we've managed to get nines to spawn here. Just going back and forth, blasting all the sevens and eights at this location. This is by far like most the, the most insane and consistent zone I've ever had. It's crazy. Yeah, Volt, they're really good. Like by far some of the best zones on the entire map. Alright, do we got any new nines here? Looks like it's just the one. Uh, that six is new though, I think. For me, it was like three or four hundred kills, Joni, but it can vary. Um, if you get to a point where you're not seeing any shootable ones, try looking in different areas and then shoot some there. I had to spread my zones out a bit. When I first started, I was hunting these four lakes along with this river zone and this lake up here. And then as you guys have seen, the more I've hunted, uh, the more I've like left some of the older lakes that only have fours now. Like this zone right here, this lake is all level fours. I think I've got like 15 level fours of this lake and because of that I've been able to just stop hunting here and work on other lakes and so I brought in this zone once I discovered it I brought in this lake uh, these two lakes here uh, Bay of Rest occasionally this one and then I've left this one it's all about just picking and choosing which ones to prioritize okay that's a mythical that's good though nice to see a mythical here instead of a four Oh! We just watched a 7 spawn in front of us. Oh my gosh. All the wild working overtime. Yeah, Volt, it's crazy. I'll show you guys actually real quick. Because we've pretty much just been going to my good zones. So I'm sure that there's some of you that haven't seen the reason why these zones are so good. So let's actually take a look at some of the bad zones. Let's go look at some of the zones that are just absolutely terrible for me. Because I've hunted them to the point where they're this terrible. So that my other zones will have all the good ones. You're a wizard, why did you never tell me? I, I didn't even know till now. Apparently I am. Yes, Goose, great one. Fallow would be so good. It would be so good. Alright guys, feast your eyes on the Giants. Four, 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 four. There's, there's another four back there. There's a four there. A four there. <laughs> there's a four there. <laughs> this is where all my fours are. I hunted this lake enough to where it's just fours. And if we back up, there should be a couple more that pop into render. We've got a few fours that drink over here as well. But yeah, this area is where most of my fours are. <laughs> oh, there we go. Some more have rendered in. Four, 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 four. So yeah, we got like 20 fours at this lake. Nice, Hayden. And I, I did see your other message saying that it was a joke. It just didn't look like a joke when uh, that was the only thing that you said, so it confused me a little bit. But yeah, this is uh, this is why my other lakes are good, because I've got a couple lakes that are literally just fours. Like, just terribly large amounts of fours. And eventually you will have lakes that turn into this, and that's why you gotta move around eventually. Uh, no adventure. We've not killed the diamonds yet. We're waiting a little bit longer. What are the chances that an eight makes diamond? Probably like one in a million, if I'm being honest. There's only been like two that have ever made it. And then also we've got the four, four, or three. Four, 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 three. Four, four, four. Three, three, four, four, three, four, and four. Which is why I don't hunt these lakes as much. The Pookie Morrow lakes are pretty much where I store all my fours. As you guys can see, that's like the only big male here. 
So whenever you're doing this method, you will have to move around eventually. Because eventually you do get some lakes that just turn into fours. But it's one of the sacrifices you have to make. If you want to be able to successfully do the herd management methods, you're going to have to just accept that some of the lakes will end up needing to be left alone. Like, I, I really just cannot uh, hunt these two lakes anymore because it's all fours. There's nothing to shoot here. It's the same with this zone down here. I used to hunt this, but I deleted this zone and it spawned here instead. And so now there's only one zone and I think the biggest thing in it's a five, so I've just left it. And that's kind of sped up the process of hunting because I don't have to focus on those anymore. Oh, we should probably go hunt this lake. It's been a bit since I've been there. Uh, yeah, we're currently at 13 nines. We currently have 13 level nines on the map, uh, QCK. We started the stream with six from my grinding last night, and we've added a total of seven more, which is kind of insane. Seven of them spawned in like three hours. It's been pretty insane. That's a big mythical, okay. Uh, too bad you're not a melanistic, but you know, a mythical's a mythical, I guess. Anything new over here, or is it just those two? Yeah, it's just those guys. Uh, I'm not gonna shoot them, because I don't want to have to walk over there. Oh, really, Kyla? That's hilarious. Yeah, Archie made that Gerald emote. I'm pretty impressed with it. I think, I think Archie did a fantastic job. Archie made us a few new uh, emotes, and so did Hollow. We've got the Let's Go emote that Hollow made, and then Archie made the Gerald emote, the Hacks emote, and the Floater emote. We figured that since we got gifted quite a few memberships last week, we might as well use up all of the emote slots while we have them, because once those gifted memberships expire next month, uh, those slots will go away if we don't fill them, so we tried to fill up as many of the emote slots as we could. I think I still have one more emote slot available, so let me know if you guys want a, uh, a specific emote. I kind of want to try and make an emote myself and see how it turns out. Uh, where do we want to go now? I think this zone's next. Yeah, Kyla. Uh, yeah, Fear. People can gift memberships. However, you have to be a member to gift a membership. It's kind of strange. I don't know why YouTube did it like that, but it is what it is. Okay, still just those four. I want to get this four to be replaced by something else. So we might shoot this four in hopes that he will swap with one of those uh, sevens or sixes that we just shot. I'd like to get this zone to be like the only thing I have to hunt if possible. So let's uh, blast that guy and leave the others. First time in a while that I've just shot a four from this zone. Keep in mind guys, uh, since I'm going to probably be designing this last emote, uh, something simple preferably, because I'm not exactly the best at, uh, making things, like, there's no way I could make something like, uh, the Gerald emote. Just, uh, not in my, not in my skill level. Alright, let's see. Do we still just have four over here, or is there a fifth one? That is the question. I still just see three. There's probably going to be another that will render in, though. Although they're nervous. So it might actually not render in. If they're just nervous. Nice, Hunter. That's awesome, dude. I haven't seen too many rares either. Like, I've been surprised at how little rares I've seen. A great one emote? Um, unfortunately I can't do a great one emote because that is copyrighted by Expansive Worlds. Like, we're allowed to use them in our thumbnails, but I can't use it in anything that's behind a paywall. And since memberships are paid, I can't make a great one emote. 
Because that would be uh, in violation of their copyrights. And we've been asked uh, not to do like Great One medals or Diamond medals as emotes. Because of the whole copyright thing, so I'm not going to do a Great One emote. And I, I'm not good enough at making uh, emotes to actually make like a Great One Red Deer. Sadly, I'm not that good at it. Level 6, level 7, okay. Love to see it. R9 is not here. Yeah, mine too, Maverick. I've barely had any rares this entire grind. How many red deer would you guys say that we've shot today? I haven't really been uh, keeping it up. I haven't really been keeping track of how many we've killed. It's got to be like a hundred, right? I swear we probably killed like a hundred red deer. What do you guys think? How many have we killed? Whichever, whatever I see most commonly in the chat will probably be what I write down. Because uh, I haven't really been keeping track. I've been so focused on just looking for nines and trying to stack them that I haven't kept track of how many uh, red deer we've killed. Yeah, it seems like you guys think around 130. Which would make sense because we typically can kill like 50 plus an hour. But since we've kind of been moving around, checking zones, um, trying to get specific ones to come back as nines, we probably killed slightly less. So yeah, I'd say 120 sounds about right. That would be roughly 40 an hour. Yeah, we'll do like 120 since you guys are th saying 130, 120, 124. We'll, we'll say 120. Which, uh, that brings us up to 1950 kills since our last great one. With only 4 rares, 29 trolls, and 60 diamonds, not counting the ones that we're about to shoot. Do you upload videos while streaming? Um, I actually schedule them. All of my videos are scheduled the day before. Which is why my video went live 14 minutes ago. Is because I had it scheduled. How many are on the map now? Currently 13, Clay Drew. 13 level 9s as of now. We have spawned 7 this stream. 7 level 9s in 3 hours of streaming. Pretty crazy to think about. Oh, interesting. No stags. Hmm. Maybe they went over here? If not, we might need to go to the main menu. Uh, we will shoot the nines probably in like 30 minutes or so. Most likely around 30 minutes from now we'll shoot them. I'll take them down on stream, uh, hello. We'll take them down at the end of the stream. Like 25, 30 minutes from now we will kill all the nines. I ah, knew it. I knew that one of them spawned here. I figured he would have had to since they weren't at the upper lake. Nice little seven. But yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to kill all 13 of them on stream. And then we're going to do one or two more runs just to see if we can get a great one to show up. Because I want to check what our respawns will be from them. Uh, not at the moment, Connor. I actually haven't decided what I'm going to take my next great one with. I think it'll probably be the 243, though. Because I haven't taken one with the 243. And it seems like a fun thing to do since it's the smallest gun you can use on them. How many kills am I at? 1950 on this uh, particular grind, uh, Lil Dog. Uh, 
great one wild boar could be interesting and they would have to do it very very good or else it wouldn't be very interesting to a lot of people though like they would have to make it super special uh no hello they have two different rack types well technically three but a couple of them are like such minimal differences that it's hard to tell it's similar to the big rack diamond red deer and the small rack one they look almost identical but they have like two different tines that are different and more mass on the big one it's similar with the great one red deer apparently there's three racks but two of them look so similar that it's impossible to tell unless you put them side by side how many super rares do i have uh zero for the red deer which is uh, another reason why i'm going for this grind again but as a whole i have four nothing new there what about here nope all right so nothing new there maybe we should check here again i think we're getting very close to needing to shoot all these nines we're starting to run out of stuff to shoot nice little dog glad you liked it nbs Glad you liked the video. It was quite a bit of fun to make. Like to see a great one, Moose or Elk? That'd be cool, Night Warrior. What's my favorite super rare? I'd say my Max Weight Leucistic Duck. Gotta be my favorite. A lot of people would probably say the Piebald Caribou one, but I don't know. There's just something about the Leucistic Mallards that I love. I've always loved the leucistic mallards. They look so nice. What if all these nine spawn a super rare? Oh, I will be so happy. Yeah, Kelly. <laughs> what state do you live in? Oregon, Spencer. Want to see a great one lion? That could be cool, Grady. That would definitely be a cool one. All right, good. Nothing here. Well, guys, I think it's time. Let's head to the main menu and let's start taking these nines down. Yeah, Raider, I'd, I've seen hardly any rares. Believe it or not, like throughout the 2,000 plus kills since the update, I've barely seen any rares. Lots of diamonds, but not a lot of rares. All right, guys, it's time to see the most insane Red Deer run of all time. 13 level nines in one run. I need to start recording this actually. We're going to do a whole intro like we did with the last one. I'll probably just make this run into one YouTube video. Let's see. Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We are once again live streaming as I record this video. We are about to take down the most level 9 Red Deer we have ever taken down in one run. As with the last time we did this, we have been stacking them for hours at this point. Uh, I did probably four hours of grinding last night to stack six diamond red deer on the map. And then during the last three hours and 20 minutes of streaming, we have managed to stack clear up from six to 13 level nine sags using the herd management techniques that I talked about in one of the previous red deer videos. So without further ado, Let's start taking these big males down and see if we can trigger a great one spawn from killing 13 level 9s. And like I mentioned before, you guys can do this method at home just like I am. Just shoot everything level 5 and above, leave the level 4s, leave the 3s, the 2s, never shoot them no matter how many of them you get. And in a few hundred kills, you'll start to see some major results as long as you stick with that strategy. 
And don't be afraid to check different zones if some of your current lakes uh, start not producing anything good. Because that will happen during the grind. You will notice some lakes will become just level 4s. And others will start to get lots of big males. So don't be afraid to abandon some of the lakes that just spawn 4s. And focus on the ones that actually give you the good spawns. And maybe add some new ones to your grind as well. Yeah, Johnny, I know. But uh, I was kind of, kind of losing all of the uh, stuff to shoot. We've got so many nines that I'm running out of uh, things to shoot this uh, this grind. So we're gonna take all the nines down because, I mean, it was getting to a point where there was nothing to shoot. Yeah, Johnny. I uh, probably won't do a classic video for a while, uh, Ben A. To be honest, I haven't enjoyed classic in quite some time. Here we go with uh, level 9, number 1. What is it? 25250. This guy is actually a small rack then. Okay. So that is number one. We're not going to spend too much time. Let's just get on to the next one. We want to get these as quickly back to back to back to back to back as we can. Hopefully that'll trigger a great one spawn or a super rare. That's the ultimate goal out of this. Let's see if we can make it happen. Will Gerald bless or curse this run? Definitely bless it, Brobra. I'd say Gerald will uh, bless this run for sure. Was that too high? It was definitely too high. I think I aimed slightly high and because we missed the neck, we're gonna have to do another shot. He should stop though. He should stop very shortly. Well, we messed him up. <laughs> uh, that second shot should have hit, though. That should have been a single lung, but maybe it hit too far back. I guess the 308 has been a little inconsistent. The Gerald curse is already working. It is. It's working already. That second shot should have been good, but I guess it might have hit slightly too far back. Yeah, exactly. A 9's a 9, Kyla. At this point, 9's are just whatever. It's unfortunate though, because that was the big one, I think. That was the biggest one. Will he die even? I don't know. We might have to move on and shoot another one while we wait for him to die. Because we can't save him now. Yeah, we'll wait. Uh, we'll come get him later. Yeah, it was a big nine collide. It is what it is, though. Maybe you'll crash before he dies. Maybe, Johnny. Maybe that's what we need. Uh, no, Brett. I'm not going to go to the main menu. I don't do that. I'm not going to use uh, the main menu thing to save it. If I messed it up, I messed it up, and I'll just own up to it. If I messed it up, then it's my own fault. My impatience is the only reason it messed up, and so I'm just going to let it die. All right, let's see. Can this guy calm down? Come on, buddy. Turn for me. No, no, don't walk off with her. No, no, no. Dude, this guy will not stop walking. There we go. We got him. <laughs> oh, man. That one was being very stubborn. That nine will spawn as a great one. I hope so. That's what we're hoping for, H2O. Nah, I'm not going to, Flick. I'm not going to do anything to save him. We messed him up. It is what it is. It is what it is. There's plenty of other nines to take down. Like I've said... 
I if if I mess something up, I'm not gonna do anything to try and save it. If I messed it up, then that's on me. Is this the first one? No, this will be the second and third. Uh, we messed one of them up. Uh, he hasn't even died yet, actually. We might actually crash before he even dies. Knowing Tiawaroa, 241, that's big for a troll. That's actually pretty big for the troll rack. Not bad. Not bad at all. This guy should be a diamond. 250, 230. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Let's go chop, chop, chop super fast as quickly as we can to the next, which I believe most of them are in these areas now. Let's see. We've got two, three. Where was the fourth one? We have, oh, we had two there. Two, four. And then we have six here for a total of 10. And then this would be number 11. Or no, we had 11, 12? Yeah, there's, how many are here again? There's eight here, right? Yeah, there's eight there, and then there's one here. So that's literally the rest of them are at these two locations. <laughs> exactly, Hunter. Like, it, it takes away the, I guess, the specialness of it. I mean, I I like the risk of being able to mess something up if I'm not careful. Let's see, can we possibly get all of these nines before they flee? That's gonna be a challenge, because there's four of them here. This has been like one of the best locations that we've had this entire grind. Most of the ones that we stacked during this like three hours of streaming and like four hours of grinding last night, most of them have appeared here. Second shot got him, I think. No, it didn't. It didn't get vitals. Okay, it is what it is. It is what it is. As long as he dies, we're good. You know, this is what happens when you're trying to be fast with killing him. You end up screwing up a couple. Although that second shot looked fine. I'm curious what happened there. First one was definitely high. I definitely hit spine. What do you guys think the second shot hit? Because I feel like that second shot looked better. Yeah, Luke, because it's what I'm enjoying. Like I said, I play whatever I enjoy. This is what I'm having fun with at the moment. And 254.40. Not bad. Another diamond down. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's move on to the next one. There's two that should be 255. Okay, perfect. This was one of the 50-50s. They tend to have a chance to troll. So it's good that that one didn't. Let's find the other. There he is. And then we have all of these to take out as well. Wait, there's another. Oh my gosh, another one spawned from that last run. <laughs> yes. So we actually have 14 to take out now. Another one spawned off of that last run. That's insane. And 252.90, that's a diamond as well. Uh, this honestly feels so good. Saving them up for like... Seven to eight hours worth of grinding and then taking them all down in consecutive fashion. It's so satisfying. Oh, good thing it's the troll. I used the wrong gun. I'm so glad that was the troll. <laughs> so glad that was the troll. But as I was saying, it's so nice to see all the hard work finally, uh... Finally, uh... What's the word? It's nice to finally take them all down after all of the time we spent grinding. That's the English I was looking for. I know, Flick. It's crazy, dude. It's one of those methods where if you hadn't been watching the whole thing, it definitely would look like cheating. But we've done everything live, and it's a method that quite a few of you guys have done as well and had the same results. It truly is incredible. Nice. We're just dropping them left and right. Payoff. Yes, Maverick. It's very nice to see it pay off after all the hours of grinding. Let's go get the one that we screwed up. 
We definitely messed it up. I'm really curious how. Only thing I can think of is maybe we hit too far forward on that second shot. The first one was definitely a spine. And what is this method? Shoot only fives and above. Shoot only fives and above, uh, Baber, and then eventually you'll get your herds to a point where they produce diamonds pretty consistently. It takes a long time to get them there, but when you do, it's worth it. What? Uh, how did the first shot hit there? And how did that one hit there? What? I actually don't think that was our fault then. I thought I aimed high, but it hit way back. Oh well, is what it is. Quick screenshot, let's move on. I can't believe that. Can't believe it hit like that. That's crazy. Yeah, it was only a 251, so it's whatever, but... Uh, it's so unfortunate that it hit far back. And you know, guys, one of the big reasons why I have been doing most of the grinding for this, like the stacking, on stream is so that we have all of the moments leading up to it. That way you guys can see, like, it can be done. Like, you can get these to a point where you get them very consistently to be diamond. And that's why I'm using the M1. Yeah, maybe I should start using the M1 as well, Dill. I already answered you, Bieber. I already answered you. Like I said, shoot fives and above. Don't shoot the fours or anything below. It took me a few hundred kills of doing that to uh, get them to consistently spawn big males, but after a while, it does get to a point where you can get very consistent diamonds. What a legendary hunt. I know, right, Soren? This is quite legendary for sure. How many more left? How many more do we have? I think two? I think there's just two left to claim over here. And then we gotta go to the next lake. Uh, yeah, I could work with lynx and goats. It's the same thing, only shoot the big ones, you know? But the biggest thing, and I can't stress this enough, guys, it takes a little while for it to start actually working. Like, you will have to kill a few hundred of the species before you'll notice any changes. It took me like three or four hundred kills to start seeing the consistent level nines, but uh, when they started showing up, they started showing up very consistently. Just stick to it, even if it starts to get to a point where you only see fours, just remember, there's always big males on your map. If you get to a point where your lakes are just showing fours and nothing else, uh, abandon those lakes and find some new lakes. There's three more? Okay, where's the other one? Where is the other one? This is the legendary that was a guaranteed troll wreck, 239. Where is the other one? Where is the other one that I killed? Under there. Wait, what do you mean by under there? Send Hunter? True, I can send Hunter out. Uh, this might be the tracks, though. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, Hunter found the blood. Good job, Hunter. You got this, buddy. Better at finding them than I am. In the trees? Didn't we already get that one? Oh, it floated. That's what it is. It floated. So it was a floater. Well, we haven't killed 20 diamonds today. Um... One of these has trolled so far, or actually two of them have trolled. So we've killed 10 diamonds. Messed up one of them though, or messed up two actually. 26670, that's the biggest one. That is the biggest one right there. So we actually haven't seen anything super huge, but I'll take a 266 any day. Uh, there should be one at this lake, and then we gotta go get that one that we messed up. Uh, we got both of those, uh, Durky. We got the two, uh, the two wonky ones. 
I'd be confused too with all those diamonds. True. Anybody that's just joining is probably very confused. There he is, the final one. This is the final one we need to kill besides the one we screwed up. And once again, for anybody just joining, we've been doing herd management. We've been saving all of these nines for the last two days. And this is what we've got. We're killing them all now at once to try and get a great one to spawn. There we go. Come on, give us a great one respawn. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I buy premiums did this a few days ago or like a week ago with bears. Had 13 level nines, shot them all, didn't get a great one out of it. So I'm not expecting a great one, but I'm hoping that something just triggers a great one to spawn. Also, all of these have been the small rack. Like, only one over 260 so far. That's kind of crazy. We have one more to claim, though. In fact, I don't even know if this guy's died. Yeah, Dorky, we'll definitely do one more run after this just to see if we can find ourselves a great one. We got to see if it worked, you know. But we should probably go track down the one we screwed up and just hope that Just hope that it wasn't a 270 like I suspect it might be Like I got a feeling that we messed up the biggest one Better get a super rare that would be awesome flanky. I would love to get a super rare That would be incredible just hoping that this guy's not as giant as I suspect him to be. That's unfortunate, Eno. It happens though, man. I've had quite a few, uh... I've had quite a few of the trolls as well. Here he is, guys. Level 9, number 13. Please don't be a 270 plus since we screwed you up, sir. I'd appreciate it if you were just like a 260s. Okay, it's a 260. It's max weight though. So, wow. Of course the max weight is the one we'd mess up. Man. That sucks. We messed it up. 26710. Of course the biggest one is the one we messed up. No. We didn't shoot too high. We shot in between the lungs. Again. This is the second time it's happened to me, this grind. Well. And then the second one hit far back, which that was probably my fault there, but. Oh, that is just unfortunate. <laughs> that is just unfortunate. Right between the lungs. Ah, oh, gosh. On the one giant, of course. All right, well, we killed all 13 level nines that we've been saving up for two days. Let's go to the main menu, reset the time, and do another run. See if we got anything giant. I'll never understand it either, Johnny. I don't know how it's possible to thread a bullet between two lungs, but for some reason it's a thing in Call of the Wild. Hopefully one of these days they'll change that, because yeah, it is quite frustrating. The moment of truth though, guys. Will we get a great one from it? Or a super rare? I hope so. Definitely possible. All right, before I forget, let me write down how many of those were diamonds. So out of the 13, 11 would have been diamonds. So even though we messed up two, they still are diamonds technically. So I'm gonna write them down as diamonds. And then two trolls as well. So that brings us up to 1,970 red deer with 71 diamonds, 31 trolls, and four rares for this grind. Now let's do a run and see if we got a great one. Let's see.
Oh yeah, it was 14, Johnny. That's right. I forgot a new one spawned when we weren't expecting it. I forgot about that one. Okay, thank you for mentioning that. We got that road down now. Okay, so a four spawned here. Interesting. Yeah, it's a lot of diamonds, Spencer. We've been saving it for two days. I did like four hours of grinding last night to get six of them to spawn. And then during the last like three and a half hours of the stream, we got seven more or eight more to spawn. Nice, Robert. That's awesome. Imagine picking up the track and it's a great one track. That'd be insane if we picked it up and found it that way. Doesn't look like it so far, though. Nightbot will have a panic attack if you find one? Probably. Nightbot will not be able to keep up with everything. Yeah, so I think one of them respawned as a four. Because I didn't have three fours here previously. Unless it got mixed up with one of the fours we shot earlier. To be honest, I don't know how long it takes for the respawns to start, so... I mean, maybe one of the fours got mixed up with the nines? Although I feel like it's been like 20 or 30 kills since we shot a four. Oh, I am right now, uh, um, hello. I'm still recording it. Just in case something crazy shows up. Of course we gotta record it. Well, it takes a while, Danny. You gotta, you gotta kill a few hundred before it'll start showing results. Got a seven. There's one there. I can't tell what it is, though. That's a mythical, it looks like. Or a seven. Ah, oh, it might be a six, actually. But anyway, nothing crazy there. Let's check this zone. I know, Cooper, no great one yet, uh, but we just took out 13 level 9s this stream. There, we got a diamond to spawn from it. Okay, so we did get another diamond to spawn from doing that. We got a diamond to spawn from shooting all those diamonds. That's something, at least. And a mythical? Okay. Oh, it's because we've been saving them, Axis. We've been saving them for two days. We've been saving every level 9 we've seen for two days. Just so we could shoot them all consecutively in hopes of getting a great one to trigger from those. We're on Tiawaroa, Gray. Tiawaroa. Um, I don't know if I trust this angle with the 308. It's been weird recently. Might want to move over. This one we will take down because we're done with saving them. So let's uh, shoot this guy. See if we can get a high scoring one out of him. That should be okay. Gosh, I've lost all faith in the 308. I have officially lost all faith in the 308 at long range. What happened to it this update? What has happened to this thing? I gotta start carrying a different gun with me. Like, I absolutely have to carry, like, the 303 with me now. Because I just can't trust the 308 for those long shots on diamonds anymore. I hope they fix that. Because it's very consistently hitting to the right. Let's carry something a little more reliable. Yeah, let's do the 303. Been a bit since I've used it. Because there's no reason why that should have missed. That should have been fine. It is, Kyle, and it's also been hitting to the right for some reason. I've had like three or four diamonds that I've ruined because it's hit to the right. It's weird. I don't know what happened with it this update. And yeah, it should come back. I don't think it'll die. Yeah, it's still alive. 
Yeah, 303 is amazing, Johnny. I love it. Yeah, Axis, we didn't get them all to spawn in one run. We've been saving them. Uh, just hoping that we can get a great one out of it. There he is. There's our level 9. How you doing, buddy? Not looking so good after that shot. Ooh. Um, it is losing HP. We probably should be somewhat quick with this. I need to get a good angle, though. I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to watch that health. If it drops to 0 to 25, then we have to rush the shot. As long as it just chills at 25 to 50, though, then we're okay to move around a little more. And try to get into a good spot. To be on... Oh. Okay, don't do that on me when I shoot. <laughs> huh? What? We were 240 away. I aimed slightly low and it didn't... Well, I'm curious to see what happened there. Another one that I have a lot of questions about. You hit the rack, possibly? I know I was zero for 300, guys. I aimed low. I know that I was zeroed for 300. I'm aware. It still shouldn't have uh, missed. Yeah, it probably did hit the rack. Probably did. Because out of the uh, thousands of shots I've made just like that one, it's not too often where that happens. So I'm guessing we might have hit the antler. It really is, Volt. I'm curious what happened there. Current total kill count and diamond count. Uh, we're just under 2,000 kills with 72 diamonds. Where did this thing even die? Yeah, I've always done it, Johnny, and it's usually fine. Like, usually aiming low and zeroing for 300 is okay. I'll be playing all of them simultaneously, Mystic. I'll be playing the Angler, Way of the Hunter, and Call of the Wild all at the same time. Of course, uh, when Way of the Hunter and the Angler first release, there'll probably be a little more content for them. But I'll still be playing every game. We'll still be doing all three of them. That's crazy, um, hello. That's crazy. Wait, you sure? Wouldn't it be seven per- Or no, no, it would be three. You're right. I think? Hmm. Now you got me questioning it. All the content coming out, I know right, Kyla. Crazy. It's nice to see so many uh, games getting released that are hopefully going to be pretty good. Did this thing die? Yeah, Durky, it died. Just uh, took it a while. I really am curious to look at where those shots hit. I gotta know what's going on. Because I feel like both of them should have been good. Maybe the gamer. It's hard to say. We'll have to take a look. 265 as well. Uh, yeah, that definitely hit to the right. So the first shot hit to the right. As Oh, for those that were in the chat saying that it's a skill issue. You call that... You call that a skill issue? I didn't even hit the antler, but it counted as the antler. <laughs> like I said, I, I know where to aim at this range. I know how much to uh, lead it. This would have hit the lung if it hadn't hit the antler. <laughs> uh, a 
all of the wild, man. How is this a thing? Like, how is that a thing? How can the antler catch a bullet like that? This blows my mind that this can happen. Oh well. Let's uh, keep checking our spawns, see if there's anything else big that spawned from it. The handler has big hands, he can catch anything? Okay, that's hilarious. That is, that's hilarious. <laughs> I know, right? It lost 38% it lost of its health from an antler hit. <laughs> That'd be interesting, Kyla. Gerald strikes again, he did. Well, I'm not gonna tax it because I ruined it. But that will count as another diamond towards our count at least, because it technically was a diamond. We just messed up the shot somehow, because Call of the Wild hates us. Yeah, true, Kyla, that'd be cool. That would be really cool. Let's see what's on the river. Oh, we will check the river eventually. It's probably going to be the last place I look, though, because it's the one I'm most excited about. Nothing there. I definitely feel like the river is going to be the gold mine. It's a defense mechanism, probably. Would not doubt it. I know it wasn't a troll, uh, the gamer. It scored gold because we messed it up. We didn't hit the vitals, so it ended up scoring gold instead of diamond. Otherwise, that would have been a diamond. Okay, we got a five and another legendary. There we go, another legendary. So out of killing all those legendaries, so far we've had two of them respawn as legendaries. Oh, ooh, I almost used the three, the 308. That would have been bad after seeing what it's done. Did that hit low? Oh, no. How far was that? Did I... Oh, no, that was way farther than I thought it was. Okay, that one was on me. That one was my... That was my mistake. <laughs> that one actually was on me because I zeroed improperly. Uh, we'll wait for it to come back, though. We can save that one. And no, I think it's fine, Kyla. I think I screwed up there. I should have zeroed for 300. I thought this was going to be like another 220 meter shot. Uh, I misjudged the range. That one was on me. That one was 100% on me, guys. We'll just wait for him to come back. Yeah, that was a big duck aim, pirate. That looked way closer. It really did, Johnny. I didn't think that was 340 meters. That's why I uh, zeroed for 150. I was like, ah, oh, that's probably like 240, 250. Should be able to just like aim middle of the lung and do okay. But it was like 340 instead. Bubble sounds. Thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Love your content, Crow. You inspired me to grind the game, working towards getting a, dice, a diamond bison and a great one bear right now. Nice, dude. That's awesome to hear. Glad that I inspired you to do a grind. Hopefully, you have some good luck on it, man. I wish you luck on your grind. And uh, thank you for the super chat once again. Very generous of you. All right. He hasn't died yet. So we should get another shot, provided he comes back. He should come back. And if all else fails, I think we can fast travel and then hunt somewhere else and then come back and take another shot once he calms down. Uh, Bandles, thank you for the five month of membership. Really appreciate it. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we might need to reset the time actually. Resetting the time will get him back quicker, but then we also risk him dying, I think. Can things die from fa uh, changing the time? I don't actually know if they can. I know he'll come back to the zone, but 
Can that cause him to die? I don't actually know. Because I know it fast forwards the time, but does it fast forward the time of killing the animal or no? It will fast forward the time of it dying? Mm. Okay, so that leads me to the next question. Will it die from a flesh wound on a 303? Uh, Bubble Sounds, thank you for becoming a member as well. Our 255th member on the channel. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. It will? Shouldn't from 340? Okay. We'll reset the time then, and hopefully he'll come back. It's not too big of a deal if we do uh, lose out on him. I mean, we've killed quite a few of them, and this one is a small one. So I'm not too worried if he dies. Okay, he didn't die. It didn't die from the time reset. Watch it be a troll? It definitely could be. I have had uh, that rack troll before. Nate, thank you for becoming a member as well. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord, YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the uh, stream, dude. Okay, he's not back, so we might have to come back later. Let's go check some of the other lakes while we wait for him to return. Oh, no, Anno, that's unfortunate, man. And I guess 249.90? It very well could be, Johnny. Definitely could be. No new diamonds here. I guess it's time to check the river while we wait for that one to come back. What are we going to have here, guys? Are we going to have a great one at our favorite spot? Please. If there's going to be a great one anywhere, it's got to be this zone. Where we killed 8 of the 13. Or 8 of the 14. We're at this zone. No! <laughs> Small males. Well, they're probably not all here yet. There's probably a couple that are late. Let's check the other side, though. Mythical? Mythical? Couple mythicals, at least. A seven. Another seven. Yeah, it's not looking like we've got a great one. We did just switch the time though, so there's probably some that haven't arrived at that spot. We'll see. We'll take another run through there at one point. Eventually, we'll take another run through there. Mythical again. Well. It's looking like we just had two legendary spawns from it. Well, let's go back here and try to take him down. That was unfortunate. I really feel... I really feel like killing a bunch of diamonds doesn't... It's not as good as just killing the diamonds as they spawn. Like, this is the second time we've stacked them and didn't really see any results. So I got a feeling that stacking's not the way to go to get one to spawn. It seems like... Just grinding the way we have been where we shoot them as we see them might just be how we need to do it. Because that sure did not uh, do anything. At least from what we can tell. I don't even know where this guy went. 
Where did he go? Man. Is it up here, maybe? Well, I don't see him, guys. Uh, I think this is probably going to be the end of the stream. It's unfortunate that we didn't get anything crazy. But it is what it is. Can't win them all. I guess we'll just go back to shooting everything that we see that's above level 4. Instead of stacking the diamonds, I think we'll just shoot the diamonds as they spawn. It seems like I was getting better stuff doing that anyway. Because both the times we've stacked them, we didn't get anything good to respawn from them. So it is what it is. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. We're going to call it a day. I appreciate all the support. You guys have been amazing as always. It's always nice to jump on stream and grind for a few hours with you guys and chat about everything. Thank you all for being here. And 